Hi guys, welcome back. This is Matt Chat, episode 470, featuring a long overdue look at the Temple of Elemental Evil. Now, this was a, a Troika game that came out, I believe, uh, 2003, after uh, Neverwinter Nights, and it kind of got slammed in the media at the time for being buggy, being a bit of a rushed uh, production. A lot of the stuff that the team had promised to do didn't end up uh, getting into the final edition of the game. Uh, so it kind of got tarnished a little bit, and that's kind of sad because really it's a really, really good game, especially if you're a fan of the uh, turn-based tactical combat, which of course yours truly uh, definitely is. Uh, furthermore, there have been many uh, patches uh, since then, including some really great community-made patches called the Circle of Eight. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so the long story, uh, the, or the short story is, it's definitely worth your time and money. Go pick it up at GOG. Uh, I dare say if you like the other games I've covered on this channel, you're really going to like this if you haven't played it before. Uh, but anyway, we've got a lot to cover, so without further ado, here is the Temple of Elemental Evil. Alright folks, so yeah, the Temple of Elemental Evil. Dungeons and Dragons Classic Greyhawk Adventure. Uh, this puppy rolled out in 2003 of September, and as far as I know, like all Troika games, it kind of suffered from the usual, the same old story, right? Lots of bugs, lots of unrealized potential, stuff that had to get cut out due to time. I mean, I, you know, I've talked to Tim Kane and a few other folks who were there at the time, <laughs> and it was just, you know, if they'd have had... You know, maybe six more months uh, to a year and, and money for every one of their games. We'd probably have uh, at least three masterpieces, absolutely unqualified masterpieces on our hands. Uh, as it is, though, it it's, was still a good game, and it got sort of mediocre ratings and kind of ding for the bugs and, and other issues. And there's still some issues with it, frankly. Uh, but thankfully, in the subsequent times, uh, the fans fans have come along and patched things and added back content that was taken out. We'll be talking about that in a minute. So it really is, even if you played it back in the day, you got frustrated with the bugs or something, uh, you really want to pick this game back up again and give it a give it a try. <laughs> That's my too long getting not watch review. But it's a $5.99 here at Good Old Games, and of course if you haven't used this website before, what's what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, it's a uh, you know, you get the game, it's already set up, ready to run, ready to roll, patched. Uh, you get the all the stuff that came with the game, the manuals, the reference card. And this is a game, even though it is a little bit late, 2003, there's still quite a bit of content that you need to find in the manual. Let's take a quick peek, gander at that. Yeah, so here's the, the manual. I think it clocks in at something like, uh, yeah, 176 pages. Notes. Has <laughs> anybody ever... You know, I always think, who writes in their manuals, right, in these notes sections? But every now and then I'll pick up a used copy of a game, and sure enough, somebody has <laughs> scrawled some detailed notes there. It's kind of fun. Kind of pick up where somebody else left off. You know, kind of like a lot of these games, you find like a journal of a previous adventurer. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't know this was it. Here, look. Tim Kane, man, he's, he's always doing this uh, recipe business. Remember the fried lizards or rats or whatever it was in the Fallout manual? What's he got here? You know what is it? Does he have a does he have a cookbook? Tim Kane, Tim Kane cookbook class, uh, <laughs> gaming recipes or something. <laughs> Let's see. The following scroll is looted off of a dead orc in the Sus Forest by the Elven Ranger T Fall. The scroll was found in a bag containing halfling parts of cookie crops. Oh my god. Chocolate chip cookies of the gods. One cup cold butter. Two sticks. Cup brown sugar. You know, this is, is this an actual... You know, I think this is a legit recipe. Beat the butter into the sugars. Beat the butter in, into the sugars until creamy. Now add the chocolate chips. Now the hard part. Put these balls on a tray. Cover them with foil. Let them chill overnight. Chilling that makes them taste so much better. Cold cookie balls. 
If you cannot wait, do not expect cookies of the balls. <laughs> cookie of the, do not expect cookies of the gods. <laughs> Try not to eat all of the dough before morning. To bake the cookie balls, place a dozen on a cookie tray, let's sit, bake them 8 to 10 minutes. So I guess if this were Troika, they would have stopped somewhere in here and had to take the... <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't have been able to chill it overnight. <laughs> but instead of doing it at 10 minutes for 400 degrees, I'd have to do it for 5 minutes at 800 degrees, you know. Uh, but yeah, this is a... You know, if you didn't look at the manual, you wouldn't even know that was, was even part of this. So, not to mention all these tables. Now, my understanding is that this is a very... About as faithful an adaptation of these 3.5 D&D &D rules as you're going to find anywhere. So my assumption is that if you are familiar with those from the tabletop, you know, a lot of the same stuff will be here in the computer version. I actually did a Twitter poll to see how many people have actually played this Temple of Elemental module. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> and almost everybody said no, they, they've played this game. <laughs> and that's their only exposure to it, which is kind of interesting. But, you know, it kind of goes to show you how these... CRPGs do expand the audience uh, for the tabletop content campaign modules and all those wonderful uh, wonderful writing and stories they did for the tabletop version. There's a part in here that talks about favored classes. I'll try to explain some of this. and I'm not, I'm not necessarily the world's expert on this stuff either, folks, but it's just stuff I've had to learn the hard way. <laughs> You know, that I might share with you, but there's a little section in here. Let's see if I can ever find it again. Yeah, the racial ability modifiers and favorite classes. So I was looking at this and like, what the heck does this mean? So with these games, uh, with this version of the rules, I guess you could do it from the get-go. But a lot of people like to start off, you know, take a level of fighter and then maybe add a level of rogue to it. Kind of do a multi-class thing, create their ultimate sort of character unique to them. Uh, so what this table shows you is uh, how to avoid penalties for doing that. I don't, you know, I don't think uh, I would, I guess it's possible to have even three classes, but, you know, it seems like most people have two. Uh, and the reason for that is you, you get into some penalties with your XP pretty fast if you're multi-classing. You know, it gives the example here of the Halfling Rogue. You can, uh, what does she add to her? She starts off as a rogue and adds something later, doesn't say what. Uh, but anyway, if you have a certain race with a certain class, like a dwarf fighter, uh, that means you could have the fighter is basically the free one. So you could be you could have that level of fighter with no uh, XP penalties. You could you make, you'd like maybe a fighter rogue or a fighter bard or fighter, you know, whatever you want to mix with the fighter would be fine. Uh, that'd be better uh, than trying to be a dwarf and then doing uh, I guess bar like a dwarf barbarian rogue. For example, running into some uh, some troubles that a fighter rogue wouldn't. So just something to think about if you're thinking about multi-classing somewhere down down the road. Uh, there's just a lot of little things like that in the manual that you might not might not be obvious to you as you're creating characters and getting into it. Uh, only on like a third or fourth playthrough you might start thinking about that. Okay, so enough of that. Let's get back to the uh, yeah. Here's this original module. So this game is based on this um, Greyhawk campaign, which I believe was their first. You know, like all the gold box games, Baldur's Gate and all that's in the Forgotten Realms. So the big appeal of this was it was, uh, what says there, it was not the first. I thought this was the first. Uh, it might be some quibbling there, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, a lot of people had heard about this Greyhawk setting. This is like the people that were playing D&D &D first. You know, they might be have these stories about all these great Greyhawk adventures. So I think a lot of people like me were very curious about it. You know, what what's going on with this earlier earlier uh, setting? You know, it sounded interesting. And this, this module was very celebrated. I think, yeah, look at this. The fourth greatest dragons, Dungeons & Dragons adventure of all time. That's Dungeon Magazine. It's, it's latest 2004, so even after this game came out. 30th anniversary of the D&D game. So yeah, I think a lot of people had played this. If you were playing the tabletop version, I'm sure you probably played this uh, module. So they had some great content to work with. 
You know, I think that's where Tim Kaine, to me, Tim Kaine's genius. I don't know who else might have worked with him on this aspect, but he, he's so great at, at the interfaces and the engines, <laughs> you know, and figuring out how to make all of these uh, little eccentricities of D&D work in a computer game. So, you know, that's, that's kind of his strength. I think where they don't have the greatest strength in this game anyway is with the, you know, a lot of people criticize the, the alignment system and the story, uh, they didn't like. They don't. I guess they didn't like the lack of. Uh, they, I guess they were kind of expecting a Neverwinter Nights like experience or Baldur's Gate type of experience, where you know the story and the characters and all that play a big, big role. Uh, whereas this game is more your classic, good old turn-based hack and slash combat tactical. Yeah, <laughs> uh, my kind of game. You know, they said the same thing about Icewind Dale. Uh, uh, hell with those people. I don't. I don't like those people. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great game. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, but anyway, that just come back to my point. Uh, since they had this module to work with, they didn't have to do a lot of that heavy lifting in terms of uh, the narrative and the setting and everything. So they were really able to focus on what they do well, uh, which I think they... Yeah, there's some bugs. The bugs got worked out. Okay, forget about the bugs. <laughs> uh, okay, and then this is the Circle of Eight modding community. And I really wanted to do a, I'll do a shout out here when, when we get to the game and, and tell you who is responsible for this. But these guys have, uh, you know, done some impressive work here. They've added, now this is not included in the GOG.com. So if you, if you get the game on GOG, I think it might have the official Atari patches, but you still need to download this. And there's a couple different flavors. One will, let's see if it, yeah, okay, so there's uh yeah, there's the standard edition, which I be, uh, that one's the one that basically just it's the original game you would have bought, but with the stuff that uh, you know fixes the bugs and adds a few uh, quality of life enhancements. It's basically a must-have. <laughs> you definitely want this one, I think. Uh, the second one is debatable. If they've got some new content, they call it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's stuff that they themselves created. Seems like there's a uh, like a little bartering segment that they've added to the beginning of the game. So it's not quite the original experience. Add some more bells and whistles, I suppose. Uh, so if you've played the game already, you might want to just go with the new content. Uh, I'm just going to go with the standard edition instead. Yeah, and then let's talk a little bit about what was going on. So this, this it came out in 2003 in September. So look what was out in 2002 in June. Yep, Neverwinter Nights. So this is very interesting pairing here. You know, Neverwinter Nights got a lot of uh, criticisms too. People thought its story sucked. They didn't like the original campaign. Yada yada. You know, I don't. I played both these games when they came out. Loved them all. Um, you know, I never had any of these issues that people seem to have with those elements. Uh, you know, was was it as good as Baldur's Gate? No. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the, if you remember, the this one has the 3D graphics with the zooming and the free camera rotation. Doesn't seem like a big deal nowadays, but I mean, that was quite an improvement. You know, if you're going from Ice Dell, now you got Neverwinter and Ice, and you're like, oh man, now I can like turn the camera and look around, and that's actually going to be a problem for Temple. So these guys were still rocking the old uh, uh, isometric views. This is a lot more like a, a Ice Dell than it is Neverwinter Nights. So I think that might have been a factor. You know, they're, they're working on it so long that, you know, <laughs> and before you even get the game out, it's already been completely superseded in the realms of graphics. Uh, with never Neverwinter Nights, a year before, you know, and they finally get this thing released. So I think that was, some people might have held that against them. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, they didn't like the level caps here either. You know, that, this is that level cap, 10th uh, level. That's one of the things you can fix quote-unquote, with a Circle of Eight mod. So if that's bugging you, you can uh, fix that. Uh, we're not going to play through the whole game, obviously, so we don't. that's not going to be an issue for us, us, for us uh, here. Okay, I think that's about all we want to say about this. Uh, i got the patch installed. You yeah, know, there's what that looks like. It comes with this launcher. And let's take a quick look at the about... Was there no about? Uh, one second. Oh, yeah, there we go. I forgot. 
<laughs> about. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to show this to say uh, thank you to Michael Kaminsky here, who created this. Uh, well, he, I guess he created the front end. They list the circle of eight. Oh, I guess Tim Kaine himself actually helped out, Steve Murray. So who did the... Uh, I wanted to do a shout out to the Circle of Eight people. <laughs> See if I can figure out who that is. So I don't know. <laughs> you know, I kind of looked around. Maybe that is the folks I had up there earlier. Uh, I, did, I was able to find <clears throat> this module here. So I guess Bastard Maestro Gayer. Is that Killing Joke? Killing Joke cover? I'm not sure. I have no idea if this is the person that, had any, that created the, uh, the module anyway. But anyway, Circle of Eight. Sometimes these guys don't want their names out there because it's kind of they're kind of in that legal gray zone. I guess they don't want Atari coming after them, perhaps. But but anyway, whoever you are that created the mod, uh, Circle of uh, Eight stuff. Thank you. But enough is enough. I want to get into the game. Okay, so we've got the new content here, but I'm just going to again just do the uh, original. If we go into options here, you can see you can do window modes. You can change the uh, level cap. So it's actually set to 20 there. <laughs> Max number of players. Uh, you can make a lot of little tweaks here. The random numbers that uh, were giving some people some trouble. And that's a pretty big deal. You know, if you don't have a good random number generation, it's basically like playing with loaded dice or funky dice. The whole time. So again, I, I just don't know why in the world you wouldn't want this uh, uh, Circle of Eight module I consider it essential. I'm going to go ahead and hit the play button here and we'll create some characters. Alright, so here we go. Let's get it going. That's our E. Trigger. <laughs> Seal of approval. This is of the coast. It's all downhill after they took over. <laughs> oh, Bink video. I remember Bink video. Yeah, so this little cutscene here plays out all the stuff that happens uh, in the module before your party shows up. The monsters emerging from the temple. The army, not a very well fed army, I have to say. Is that skull? The golden skull. Here come the monks, the lords, or robed dudes. <laughs> I got a big sword! Oh, I got that big old sword! <laughs> It's a two-hander, but I'm using a one-handed, damn it. Hey, where'd you go? And I'll seal them up in the tempo. Look at that. Now, nobody would ever be foolish enough to break that seal. <laughs> Let those monsters out. <laughs> no. Nobody would ever be that foolish. Okay, uh, we need to turn the anti-aliasing off. I don't know what the deal is. Every time I play the game, somehow that mysteriously gets turned back on. <laughs> it's a pain. <laughs> uh, but a small price to, to, uh, to pay, I suppose. Okay, let's do the new game, normal. Uh, and a lot of people have made a big deal about this party alignment thing. It does... There's only certain combinations that work. You can see if you, I guess you want maximum coverage, you'll go with the uh, true neutral, but that locks out your lawful good. So you won't be able to have uh, uh, paladins in the party. Looks like neutral good's a pretty good option, but I'll just go lawful good. We're just going to kind of commit to that. <laughs> and I'll just quickly show you how to create a character. I won't actually do this. Because uh, I, <laughs> to tell you the truth, <laughs> Uh, I, I created a bunch of characters and I recorded it all and then my video program I didn't realize I had a screen pulled up in front of the video so, uh, so all that is gone 
Uh, which is kind of a shame because they had quite a few nice jokes in there. Uh, but so it goes. But I will show you just briefly how this works. Uh, we can roll as many times as you want. You know, good old fashioned, a lot of good old games that were like this. You know, you try to simulate that tabletop experience. And if you got a, uh, a mean enough DM, you know, uh, he's standing over you like, oh no, you're, you're going to get st stuck with those rolls. <laughs> uh, they like the flawed characters sometimes for you. You know, they don't want to be playing with gods all the time. Uh, but you can do this, and then you can decide, like, how you want to, where you want to put these scores. So that's a pretty good system. They also, though, give you this option. They call it advanced for whatever reason. Uh, but this is the point buy system. You know, so some DMs will, will do it this way, so you don't have uh, to worry. It's not so random, right? Your characters, you just decide. You know, they give you a certain, uh, you know, a certain number of points, and then you can you see how the more you the higher you get it, it starts costing you more. So again, this is kind of a way to prevent you from making just super duper awesome characters. You get that one extra point there. So, you know, two different ways to do it if you don't like random. If you want the very best characters, I think you have to go with this system, though. <laughs> and just keep rolling until you get... See if you can get all six to be 18s. Now that would take some patience. <laughs> I mean, realistically... I think the thing to avoid is, like, you wouldn't want this with a three. You know, you could stick that three in charisma, maybe. Uh, relatively useless for most characters, but uh, I just don't like getting those extreme penalties for anybody if I can help it. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I already created characters. And I just uh, recorded over my video. So I, what I did, I went to Patreon, pulled out some of my supporters there, some of those Ratrons at random. <laughs> And I uh, created some characters for you guys and, uh, and gals. Uh, so we can see how this goes. We got Becky there. This is our paladin. She'll be our tank. Let me just add these uh, folks to the party, and then I'll tell you what, I, what I'm going to go with here. Got my character there. Very attractive male dwarf fighter. Uh, well, who else? We got a, got a cleric here somewhere. There's my uh, Spence. Get dispensed with Spence. I got a rogue. Uh, who's my rogue? Dalton Halfling Rogue. <laughs> what kind of expression is this? <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Workla. Workla, the male elf wizard. Oh, good. Okay, we're gonna let me just briefly show you these. In theory. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I guess I had to remove them from the party to show them to. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother with that. I'll show you in a minute what we've done. Okay. I think each alignment gets its own little start. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty besieged, all right. Right in the, right in the gut. Oh, and they got to go first. Look at that crap. Oh, almost took you out, uh, Spence. What the hell, Spence? <laughs> you're, you're, you're almost dead before the game even starts. Oh, not a good sign. Now, okay, let's talk a little bit about this interface. Uh, you move the screen around. Left, you know, you go to the edges of the screen. It's not ideal. Uh, you can also do the arrow keys. Again, not ideal. You can't zoom in. You can't rotate. <laughs> you know, this is not Neverwinter Nights. You keep, you keep wanting it to be, uh, at least in certain aspects. Uh, but the trade-off for those limitations are you get better looking areas. So you can see like this, like that wagon there looks, looks perfect, right? So you don't get those perfect, uh, you know, there's certain, uh, I guess, things I like better about Neverwinter Nights. What is that, uh, the Aurora engine? And this definitely got some benefits to that, being able to rotate. It'll be a problem for us fairly soon. You won't be able to quite see what it is you're trying to aim at. You wish you could rotate. Uh, that's just one of the compromises. Uh, but the upside, you know, better looking setting. So you, uh, you make the call. Now, one thing that everybody does love about this system, though, other than the fact that it's true turn-based, 
Look, look at this. I If I right click, we get the famous rotary dial interface system. Yes, all of the beauty, <laughs> all of the comforts of the old rotary phones. Look at that though, and it expands out. And if there's one thing this game is known for, it's by almost slavish devotion to implementing that 3.5 rule set. A lot of people I've talked to say that this game gets it better than any other game uh, then, then or now. You know, just, just how faithful this is. You've got all of the stuff that you don't normally see in a lot of games. You know, I've, I've been playing a lot of Pathfinder recently, so I was thinking about how this compares to Pathfinder. But things like the five-foot step, we've got the charge attacks, coup de gras, you know, a lot of this would be familiar to you if you've been playing those uh, that Pathfinder series. Uh, there's some stuff that I like about this. I haven't really experimented too much with this, but you know, if you want to delay, or if you want to, uh, you know, kind of like in a D and D, you can like hold your actions. Uh, you can sort of do the same thing here in different ways, but you have to call it. Say, well, if somebody approaches me, then it'll activate, or if somebody casts a spell, you, know, you get the idea. So lots of little minutia here. You know, lots of tactical considerations we could turn our power attack on. And you could even fine-tune how much power attack you want. Look at that. Let's see if it'll let me look at my uh, feats. Yeah, so what I went with with him is combat reflexes, which uh, lets me make... I can make attacks of opportunity while flat-footed, and I can also... Uh, make additional attacks of opportunity equal to my dex bonus, which is two, relatively high. And so I get two, uh, I guess, attacks with that. Now the reason I went with this is a lot of people have recommended the uh, pole arms, the reach weapons for this game. I don't have one yet, uh, but as soon as possible I'm going to try to replace this uh, battle axe with a, uh, a spear or something with some reach to it. And we'll see how that works, because apparently it's quite powerful in this game. And then for the skills, you know, I, I, I tried to create one character. Let's see if I can remember who it was. Won't let me switch here. But one of my characters has a lot of us. Uh, the Paladin, I think, Becky. She's got lots of stuff like bluff and, and diplomacy. She'll be my, she'll be the voice of the party. <laughs> uh, and then for other people, I tended to go with tumbles for those attacks of opportunity, trying to get out of those. If I need to move around some. And things like spot and survival, you know, pretty basic stuff. We'll go through all that. I'm sure you're familiar with it if you played uh, you know, any game like this. So let's uh, try to charge. Uh, I tend to prefer, you know, feats and things to give me more initiative because I like going before the bad guys. Find that useful. Okay. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Blood everywhere, loving it. Okay, if I want to move and I'll hold down the Alt key, you can see how it goes from green to yellow there if I get too far beyond my... And this here is showing you your actions, action points, basically. So you can decide I want to move. If I move that far, then I won't be able to do anything else, right? I'm just moving. So that's pretty clever. Let's just move there. And that's the Alt key again. Now supposedly the tab key highlights stuff on the ground. I guess you could pick up. I haven't been able to get that to work. I don't know if it's what the deal is with that. If I just maybe there's nothing here. Uh, I don't know. Okay, then we can cast a spell. Oh, you also use the radio menu for that. Of course. So I guess some people love it. Some people hate the this setup. I think it's great. Uh, I kind of like not having all those hot key or hot bars everywhere uh, to click on. I, I, I gotta admit, I kind of dislike this way they set this up. Whose turn is it here? Oh, it's Becky's. Okay. Let's charge over there. So she can smite evil, detect evil, sneak heal, potions. Yeah, some, this is the problem, I guess, is that you can see how that's... Uh, and that's so long, it just goes right off the screen. So it gets a little bit clunky sometimes, but generally it works pretty well. Let's see, do the charge attack. By the gold's will. 
Wow. Ooh, okay, good, good, good. I think this is my uh, Dalton the Rogue. Right away. Oh, right now. I thought I was dead for sure. Well, we were on our way to Hamlet to deliver some much needed parts to Bald and Wheel and Wayne right there. When suddenly we were attacked from out of nowhere by bandits. Wheel and Wainwright. I have to admit, I don't know what the heck a Wainwright is. That a wagon maker? A big group of them stole everything we had, and I think they kidnapped some of our women and children. A few bandits remained behind. I think they kidnapped some of our women and children. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Can you do one more favor? I must return to Verbobank and report the kidnapping and the loss of the caravan. Can you please tell Balden that the goods were stolen? And if you can bring those bandits to justice for their acts, all the better. Ah, I just love that music, man. It sounds like Vangelis. Ah, so nice. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's go get those bandits. The bandits have a hideout near Hamlet. That's all I overheard. A hideout near Hamlet. I owe you my life. At least give me some coupons or something. Making good on your promise, you travel to Hamlet to tell Baldwin the Wainwright that his goods have been stolen. There we go. Nice little shot. You know, very everything is just so well done. I mean, all of these. uh Troika games. I mean, the beginning parts just always get you so excited to play the game. <laughs> like, wow! This is going to be fantastic! You know, you kind of wonder, like, what would these guys have done if they had had another six months to work on this? Okay. Did you do it? The Great What Ifs. Course. Let's go ahead and change up his spells. Uh, yeah, I don't like. I don't know. Detect undead. No. Inflict. No. Let's do another cure. Let's get a bless in there. And uh, blah, blah, blah. where's cure wounds? Uh, cure light wounds. Yeah. Okay, and then let's look at uh, the wizard. I'm sure you know that he's going to have to uh, at the rest at the inn. Why can't I switch this? Oh, I'm in combat. Get out of combat. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, okay. So he doesn't even have some of his available open clothes. Ray of Frost. Days. Let's try a. Uh, I think to take magic's probably going to be a good choice. And Acid Splash, one of my favorites. Magic Missile, Burning Hands, Summon Monster. Why is it yellow? Let's do the Mage Armor instead of, of that. Okay, good. Who else do I have? Does the Paladin have spells yet? I keep hitting C thinking that's for... Uh, I keep thinking C is the button for spells. I keep wanting to move with WASD, so that's going to be tricky. Okay, we can look at our map here. Beautiful maps. World map, current map. We have uh, notes we can put down. Can zoom in on this. In theory, <laughs> maybe not. Since we're on party, okay. So we'll probably just stick to the paths. So not sure how much value there is in trying to explore every nook and cranny. I did it before and never found anything. Is our first little hovel? Okay. And widow unscathed. And pretty good voice acting. It's kind of hit or miss. Let's see what uh, this widow has to say. Put our talker. <laughs> Let Becky do the talking. What met uh, 
Yes, what can I do for you? What fine looking stock you have back there. So you get, you definitely get different dialogue options because I didn't have all this before with my characters that had like a <laughs> four charisma. Let's see. Well, man, I'm back. Yeah, I hate the way that everything moves around still. I wish they would have locked the, the motion. Like centered it when you had a dialogue, but I guess they put the face there. Well, let's see. You're new around here, aren't you? We haven't been getting as many visitors around here lately. I'm Mathilda. I live here with my two sons and eight grandchildren. You know, it's, it's almost... Some of these uh, dialogues are voiced. It just almost seems random which ones are voiced and which ones are just text. Hey, Grandmother, well, you are beautiful. <laughs> you don't look a day past 30. I'm looking for some adventure. I was told to come to Hanla. So, lots of dialogue options here. I'm afraid most of the adventuring around these parts is done. After the big battle out in that meadow there, there's not much for adventure. What big battle? The Battle of Emerity Meadows. They took down that evil temple out there, too. That handsome Prince Thrommel. That handsome Prince Thrommel, the big sword. <laughs> it's a shame he was lost in that battle. Oh, that's sad, isn't it? Seems to be doing pretty well. He had time to get out at all. Seems pretty peaceful. And you're kind of just fishing around to see if there's a... Uh, A quest here somewhere. Probably not. You know, you could go upstairs and look at Bye some of these buildings. Me. I did that before. I never found anything. You know, I don't know if they intended at some point to put in little hidden stuff, or maybe my characters just aren't, uh, you know, don't have a high enough search skill or whatever it is, but <laughs> I just. Get kind of bored doing it. There wasn't much point in exploring all these things. At once. Farmer's wife. Well, Mitch. Oh, this is the wrong person talking. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Get away, work, work, Ella. Work, Ella. Uh, will you allow me a few more questions? What can I do it? Nice. That's a nice barn you got back there. Surely your surplus of hay must be considered a good thing. What's going on here? His wife died. He's been driven to obsession. That widow Mathilda up north of here, she would do him so good. You know, they get along so well. Oh, this person we just talking to. I guess we're playing a matchmaker here. Well, his wife just died. He doesn't think he's warned enough yet. I'll go talk to the carpenter for you. You're just as sweet as apple pie. Yeah, just trying to get some easy XP, Gwyneth. It cost you some gold for rumors. Oh, okay. Now, I've heard talk of a mold house around here where there's bandits. Oh, I already knew that. Let's talk to this farmer. Name's Percy. Tending to this tough work. Well, my brother Philikin's using up more than his fill of our shared barn. <laughs> Good luck with that. I have a plan in place to work out that feud of yours. Uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, but you keep thinking, oh, surely I can look in some of these chests and barrels and things. But no, I'll hold down tab, it's not, oh, it is doing something. I put a little blue dot under her. <laughs> okay. That's got to be another bug. I don't know if, I don't know if the bug is with the, the Circle of Eight mod or. Something else to do with the graphics card I'm using. Said something about this barn. Try to find that farmer. Is there a way to get into the barn? Oh, 
Hopefully they wouldn't put the entrance on the side somewhere where I couldn't <laughs> access it. Uh, where's this farmer at? What's his name? Hello there. Drunk villager. Ack, you are drunk. No, I'm not drunk. I'm Elmo. Oh, boy. <laughs> Too soon. I'm looking for work. I need the money, you see. I'd like to buy some ale. I'm an armored man. No, no, I mean a man at arms. I can work for you, but I need to get some chain mail and a big axe. And I will work for only half of the share of the money. You know, there's always one of these guys in every D&D &D campaign, right? I need to pay you. Not an interesting okay. Elmo. <laughs> you know, I've almost did to stick him in the party just for laughs. Add an NPC. And by the way, you can add NPCs, I think, three more to your party. But the problem is they soak up your XP. And it sometimes they even want more stuff. Like all the scrolls you find or share the gold. Yes, sir. So, general consensus seems to be don't even bother with them. I'm going to get the wrong person talking here. Uh, yeah. I'd love to buy Phil at a new barn just in that silly feud he has with Bruce. I'm certainly well off, well off enough to do that. Okay, I guess we got to go back. Got to find this okay. carpenter. Now, what I do like about this, you know, it tells you once you go inside, you can, uh, you know, keep track of the insides of it. I thought it labeled it. I guess you have to label it yourself. So we might as well just put a little thing there. That's where Mathilda is. And we can do another one that was over here. Come on. <laughs> Farmer. Uh, that way, if you have a crummy memory and you don't want to be switching back and forth to game Banshee or something. <laughs> Elmo. Okay, let's see now. Where is that carpenter? Okay. And I really wish I had the, the I still had my copy of the manual. That'd be so nice. Okay, this must be the, the farmer. Gwen that says you need a new bar. Oh, and the wrong person's talking. Come on. I come on important farm business. I have a barn I could sell you that's big enough to hold your surplus hay. My brother Percy put you up to this. <laughs> oh boy, I gotta lie. You just... So much for being lawful good. He lives just to the south of here. Just, well, that's not what I was expecting. Gwyneth says you need a new bard. <laughs> you tell Gwyneth to mind her own business. <laughs> if that lazy good-for-nothing husband of hers would stop using up all the space, would be needing it. The fact remains, I ain't getting a new bar. Now get out of here. Scram. What are we supposed to do, then? We have to go back talk to Percy again? I'm afraid you have entered a house of sorrow. My father's been obsessed with work. Just get married. Oh, I let the old man stand in the way. Just get married. Just talk to your father. Man of St. Cuthbert. Alright. Hi. My name is Melanie. I live here with my father, Philigan, my older sister, Thea, my younger sisters, Lorith and Louisa, and my little brother, Hayden. Isn't he the cutest little thing? So why is she voiced? Alright. Is your poor father raising you on his own? Since our mother passed on, he's hired Roddy, the manservant. But none of us like Roddy too much. I wish father would get out more. Oh, nothing really. He just apes everything father says and does. I wish he'd be a little more fun. Our mama could really make us laugh. Thank you. It's been hard... Let's Hello again. See. I'm doing quite well, thank you. I wish the local... Sometimes I like to sneak away to the Deckwell Grove. But Father thinks it's not safe. Oh, it's a bit north of here. I'll show Deckwell you on your map. Grove. 
Okay, well this is about the point where you'd want to drag out the uh, <laughs> game banshee and figure out what you need to do. Let's see, journal, logbook. Cupid Zero, Gwyneth has asked you to try to pair up her brother-in-law Philican and the widow Mathilda. So what do we need to do? Go back, talk to... I said something about a carpenter. Let's go back and talk to these folks again. You know, there's quite a little bit of running around here at the start. Uh, that's another reason. Another criticism of it. it takes a while to start get, gaining some momentum, and a lot of people don't have the patience for this sort of little minor stuff. Uh, Percy, good to see you again. Okay, I guess we don't go talk to him. So what do we? As you wish. Uh, Cupid Zero. Gwyneth has asked you to try to pair up a brother in law, Philicon. Well, okay, I don't. Kind of at an impasse there, I suppose. Let's go see what's down that area. Oops. Come down. So you hit this little. I don't even know what the key is called. The one above the tab. Or you can click on this to select all your party. You know, not the best pathfinding. <laughs> There's definitely some problems, but... uh, I don't think it's anything. It's, there's a leather worker. It's going to prevent you from having a good time. What's new around here? They keep me quite busy. Uh, let's just barter. Let's see, this guy's got some leather armor, some helmets. As far as I can tell, the helmets don't do anything. I, I think I... What's that? I think I remember reading somewhere. I don't know where I'm getting this, but they prevent critical hits. To the head or something like that. Or decrease it anyway. I don't see anything there I can't live without. I guess the rogue might need some better armor. What's he got? Plus two. There's some masterwork studded leather. I give him a plus three. Hide armor plus three. Barbarian armor plus three. This is light armor, is it? It doesn't tell you what you can wear, so you might buy something and then... Whoops! <laughs> I don't think the gloves and boots do anything. Let's go ahead and buy this. We can sell the old stuff. Put the new armor on. There we go. So now his AC is 15. Oops. Oh yeah, you just right click on it. That works. Okay, anybody else in here worth talking to? Brother-in-law. Hello, Bing. <laughs> you funny man. Yes, sir. Oh, I think there's a woman in there. Let's... Okay. Where is that? There we go. Leather worker's wife. Hello, I'm Workala. I'm Elizabeth. My family was so poor we could not even afford to e. Wife of Jack. Who could afford the extra K? <laughs> we don't spell too well. Our little village just keeps growing. As you command. Okay, I'm obviously not going to be reading every little line of dialogue and all these dialogues. I want to get to the good stuff. But I do want to be level 2 if I possibly can. Definitely want to gear up. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey. By the gold's will. You are now playing the Witcher. Okay, innkeeper's wife. Interested in food and drink. What do you have? Sampling some of your fine food and drink, madam. Where is the brewery? Brewery just north across the river. You need to buy it from here. Well, let's go ahead and buy some ale. Five coppers. She buys it. 
Let's just verify this. So it's five copper pieces. Now if we put the lady with the praise. Let's see. No, it's still five. Uh, so maybe it doesn't always work. What's this chunk of meat? Might be a crafting item or a, just a fun item. Okay, gotta get this dwarf the ale. There's no room for that item. How do I drink the ale? <laughs> Power attack. Potions. Inventory. Talk. How do I drink the ale? As you command. <laughs> no room for that item. Drink it. Use an item. There we go. He failed to use. <laughs> Wow! Come on. What does it mean I failed to use it? Oh, okay. I guess that must just be a quest item. So sad, though, man. Ah, I want to cry. Okay, we got a place to stay here. Not much going on. Nothing to tell. Let's see who else is in here. Hello, it's very nice to meet you. So, you are an adventurer? My name is Spooya, and I work for a sage in Stalmere. Spooya. He has directed me to locate any and all wizard scrolls in the area. No, but I just recently arrived with a merchant wagon. I plan to check a nearby ruined moat house, which I understand once housed a powerful warlock. This was before the Battle of Emerald Meadows, after which the moat house was sacked. Here, I will show you where the moat house is located on your map. So this is one of the NPCs we could add, but again, we probably don't want to because the, they cut into your XP and this guy's going to want all the scrolls we find. Yes, sir. How can I help? Here, I will show you where Emrity Meadows is located on your map. Okay. Who else do we have here? Guard. Bernie's Batcher. The Temple of St. Cuthbert is in the northwest corner of town. Eastern side of town. Okay. Greetings, sir. No, no, no. One should always per... And what brings you to Homelet Good? I am looking for that perfect little group with which to explore all manner of dungeons, ruins, and ancient troves. Would you have room for one such as me, perhaps? Aye, I would like to accompany you on your adventures, both near and far. For an equal share of the loot, of course. I know more excitement awaits us all. Pretty fine character, but I don't think ah, so. Ah, well. Okay, what else do we need to do here? We need to rest up, I suppose. Welcome to the Inn of the Welcome Wench, sir. I am Ostler Gundigoot. How may I help you? Ostler Gundigoot. How many spicy potatoes? Oops, wrong game. I guess I'd like to stay here. How much are the rooms? <clears throat> I've got space a plenty. Two. Let's have the lady talk to him because I think there's some dialogue options. Hello. What? I've got space a plenty. Let's see two gold. Well now. Oh, here we go. Hold on there a moment. Are you interested in getting the room for free? I have a little problem that needs taking care of, and I need someone new in town to do it. I suspect that a certain gentleman named Furnock is cheating at games of chance here in the inn. He doesn't cheat anyone here in town. He only seems to win big when playing with our guests who are passing through. Oh, a bit of a cheat. Who would have thought? I need someone new. Someone that he will think is an easy mark. Then you can catch him in the act. Come back and let me know. And you can have a free room here. Thank you. Okay, so we got to try to catch him in the act. I don't know if the sleight of hand is the way to go. Let's try Becky, though. She's got all the best personality skills. Again. 
What would you like to know, kind lady? I like to play a game now and again. I have some cards to play 30. Great, a quick game of knuckle bones. The bet is 10. A nice game, madam. Another game, perhaps? F oh, look at that. I actually would. Would you like to play again? Great, a quick game. A nice Another game. F oh, would you like to play again? What's going on? Oh, look at that. Would you like to play again? Oh, you like How to long play? do we have to do this before oh, she... Uh... Would you like to play again? Like to play again? There we go. These cards are nicked. Uh. Please don't turn me in. I just do this to earn some extra money to live on between adventures. Straight to Gundy Group. Hello. Yes. Got him cheating. That's wonderful. Thank you. I will make sure he doesn't gamble. Yes. Okay, we got some XP. Yeah, I got some XP for doing that. Great. And we can also go upstairs and okay. rest up. And what's the rest? Is it R? <laughs> yes, R. Uh, this guy needs some healing. And I don't think I've got any more healing spells. Sanctuary. I don't know if there's any reason not to just rest until Hilda. Seven days? Hmm. I don't think there's a time limit. Or your character's eventually age. <laughs> so that's a good question. They definitely bucked the convention of having all little chests and things in here for you to find. Hello there. The name's Zert. I'm new in town. So what is there to do in this town? Now you could become Batman. So oh, I don't know. I like the ale here at the Wench. But I might go up to that yonder Lord Bernie and Lord Rufus. I I know. Be careful, Ben. I'm you sure at the moat house. I guess I'll be staying right here, lass. Ooh, he has an evil aura. By the gold's will. Alright, is there anything else we need to do here? I think that's about it. Man, how much would you like to stay in a... Now, I just always had this dream of a... If I ever make a lot of money just building my own sort of tavern like this. <laughs> Cards and dice and axe throwing and play D and D. One of my friends is a calls himself the Viking. Steinar the crazy Viking, something like that. And he actually has a <laughs> I guess a B and B type situation like that. I need to go over there and stay there sometimes, having a, had the gumption. The guy that made my drinking horns. I am Brother Smythe, the, the village blacksmith. Are you a monk or a cleric? I am the understudy of Jeru, the village druid. My abilities are a few. Yes, I can perform a cure light wounds. Good to know, so you're in the old faith. What are you doing blacksmithing, then? Let us trade. Okay, we might be able to get some good upgrades here. Let's see now. We've got... Uh, yeah, this they can't just give you gold. you got to have the platinum. What the hell's the point of this? I never figured, like, who cares? wants to do the math? <laughs> well, four platinum is worth... Ten, or one platinum piece is worth ten gold pieces. I mean, that really enhances my role-playing experience. Okay, this is AC plus four. So we get two more. Ooh! Not enough money. I don't have enough money for the chain. Oh, I guess I wasted it all trying to do that stupid... 
that stupid Fenric thing. So I have to settle for this uh, scale armor, I suppose. Well, let's see if I... Oh, that's only worth two gold. Well, let's see. Plus four. Ah, I guess I just got to do it this way. Okay, then Matt. Oh, I can't afford to equip him properly. I guess we could sell these items. <clears throat> Is that? Nope, still not enough. Just have to come back when we get more money. Don't think I want to sell my uh, potions yet. Let's put a little flag there. Blacksmith. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I wasted all my money trying to catch that guy cheating. I didn't get my money back either. You know what I could do, though? Maybe I could, maybe I could steal it. Got sleight of hand on my rogue. Who's my rogue? Dalton. It's up to yes. you, Dalton. <laughs> Let's try it. There he is. Let's see if we could steal. Uh, there we go. Sleight of hand. Yes, sir. Yep, yeah, succeeded. I oh, got some malachite. Right away, I'm off. Wonder how much you think okay. that malachite might be worth enough to. Make up the difference. I don't think it's evil to steal from a con artist. Razor's doing the talking. Okay, now we can sell that. Oh, yeah, not worth too much. Not enough money now! Oh, we can afford this. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay. Can equip my character. Sell the old piece. And we still got one person, a cleric there. Still need to equip him with some spence. Need some better gear. Let's see. Does he have weapons too? I want a spear or something with a reach. Scythe. There's a long bow, a short bow actually. Uh, might be a while before I can make those kind of uh, upgrades. So anyway, we know where the blacksmith is. There's a building. Need to find the carpenter. I was reading something weird the other day. I don't okay. remember what the context was, but they were talking about how blacksmiths were kind of feared in these uh, medieval villages and so they put them out on the outskirts of town thought it was kind of magical what they did I wish I could just default to her every time we have a conversation tell me about the dog she doesn't have a wife My wife died two years ago sounds terrible Anything I can do to help? Maybe if you pretended to court me, they would see you're not like Black Jay. Maybe they would not pressure you to leave. Okay, I will speak with Eddie. That I could help. A lot of stuff about relationships in, in this game. Good to see you, Eddie. I'd like to have dinner with your family. What do you think? You're not my mommy. You mean lady, go away. <laughs> what? <laughs> I 
Okay. I guess that's not going to work out. What are we supposed to do with Eddie? Uh, mental stability. What are we supposed to do? Just keep giving him gold? Keep your cursed coins. I can't tell if this is just a random thing. Eddie hates me. I don't know what to do. I knew it could be difficult. I'm sorry if he's caused you pain. Over time, he might... What dogs are those? A few more questions. Flocks. Okay, I guess we just have to come back later for that. By the gold's will. Just trying to get some easy XP. I've got this moat house. I know I've been over there before, and it's it's not playing around. <laughs> we have got to get some improvements. Okay. Level up a few times, or at least once. Greetings, friend. I am Jaru Ashstaff. I am a druid of the old faith, and one of the spiritual leaders of this community. Oh, that's cool. I didn't see that button there before. A temple dedicated to St. Cuthbert has been built north of here. The cat those of the old faith seek a balance in all things. We tolerate all other religions and do not oppose their presence here. Yes, my son. What is it you would know? <laughs> Who's the old faith? Let our paladin do the talking. Hello again. How can I help you, my dog? Yes, dog. We worship the Bjork. Uh, How can I help you, my gold. dog? I don't really need healing. Hello again. How can uh, what are we supposed to do with Hello. this guy? Yes, daughter. What is it you would... O Earth's natural... Yes, daughter. What is... O Earth's... Okay, I guess not. By the gold's will. Well, what else? Still looking for that Wayne, right? It's like this circle's over here. Okay, I guess that's the end of that road. Hmm. Probably over here somewhere. Whoa. Looking for the way right. Yeah, let's make for the center of town. There we go. We might. I really want to, I'm just dying to go to that moat house area so we can fight the, the stuff there. Because, I mean, that's really what this game is, does well. <laughs> These dialogues are okay, I guess, but just not... Probably not what's going to make you love the game. There's a little trail... Smoke coming from this house. There's the drunkard again. Okay. <laughs> Good day to you. But that's it. I sat through a brief loading screen for that. You know, somehow or another, I've turned off the. The, the tips, the loading tips. You know, the first time I played this, every time I went inside anywhere, this thing popped up with some tips. And they're pretty good tips, but like, I don't need that many. <laughs> tips. You can turn off the tips. I don't know where the heck is my... I'm going to have to look at my journal again. We're playing matchmaker. We still have to find the Wainwright. Maybe this is him. 
This is the woodcutter. Dear, I'm here. Glad to meet you. Uh, problem with some giant spiders. Look for the deck load. Oh, you got another quest from the woodcutters and spiders. You should make a wooden shield for me. Uh, doesn't want to do the shield. Okay. Let's make another flag. Woodcutter. Make a little note so they can remember. Go ahead and save again. I think there's any reason to go inside. Uh, okay. Probably not. Nope. Okay. That beautiful water over there. Looks so real. <laughs> what would you be rocking at this point anyway? One of those like Rage ATI Rage Pro. Was it the Voodoo? Remember that ATI Rage. Now I was thinking, there's probably people watching this video that are actually younger than this game. <laughs> I mean, it's 18 years old, almost 20 years old. If you can believe that. That is incredible. Okay. It's just too hard to. You played. I've been playing so much Pathfinder. Wrath of the Righteous. It's just. I keep wanting. To, it looks enough like it. You keep thinking it should control like it. Right away. But the controls are different. I am Jenneth, the town tailor. Why do you look so glum? I'm a small man. I am a small man. Why am I soft in the middle now? I said my life is so hard. Well, you need a photo opportunity. Hey, why are you... Hey, are you going to tell me what's wrong or aren't you? I need another quest, damn it. They won't let me into the local militia. Every other man is over 15 years old is in the militia, but they say I'm too small. Written, the captain of the militia. Okay, so there's another little quest. Get the okay. uh, short guy into the militia. That's just height discrimination. By the gold's will. There's another farmer. Who would have thought there'd be so much, so many farmers in a farming village? How else would you like to know? How is it you and your son have gotten so large on your modest income? <laughs> Rotating crops, what will they think of next? Horseless carriages? Bye, beery man, you've got to plant the crops. You can't keep them spinning around. Oh boy. <laughs> what can I do for you? I wonder why that one person had a blue circle. I'm not seeing a farmer's wife in here. Gunther. Bring you back. Quite a lot to do here, though. You gotta. I don't remember this. I mean, granted, it has been almost 20 years. I don't remember there being this this big of a village. Right Weaver's daughter, Weaver's son-in-law, Weaver. No, oh, no. Why does it keep going to you? But you know, it's pretty cool how it's worded differently. Like here, it's may I indulge upon you to answer more questions? <laughs> she talks better. She studied rhetoric. 
We make the cloth for the local tailor Jin Earth as he was supplying the needs in the air. Where was this in? You know, I play with D&D &D groups like this and they just keep asking all these questions. I'm just back there like, when am I going to get to kill the damn rat? Why are we talking about the economics of the village life? Just point me towards the damn rats. I I'm sure Monier. Who is that woman? Why are you leering at her? I was not leering. Please, your eyes nearly bugged out of your skull and you winked. <laughs> Uh, Sudom, you are overreacting. I wouldn't. It looks a lot like Matt Shergy, doesn't he? He <laughs> shiggy shiggy. Oh, shut up, you hussy. <laughs> this is too close to home. <laughs> hussy? Temple of Elemental Evil, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Perhaps you can answer a few questions. Please ask my father, Plocus. Okay. Oh, okay, so obviously that did not further our ambitions. Where is this? I forgot what we're looking for at this point. <laughs> Just exploring. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful setting. I mean, look, this is... I mean, the, the, the music, the, the, the graphics, the woods, the trees, and very soothed. Just wish it would go to the lady. Let Becky do the talking. Oh, there's a thing. Any good rumors around town? I think there's more to Elmo's than he may look. You should track him down and get him to join up. Yeah, right. Thanks for the info. Equipment, looking for some fun questions. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I guess he's not going to be very really useful. <laughs> yeah, you should let the town drunk join your party, old Otis. <laughs> Maybe you'll get him killed. That's probably what he's thinking. Poor old drunkard. Okay. Surely this is the carpenter. Will do. Carpenter's assistant. Oh no. Ah. Yes. See any bandits? No, well, that's not that. Here's the actual carpenter. Nice to make your acquaintance. I'm Rick Lincoln, the town carpenter. Another type of wood. What's going on? The stonemason over there has got it, got in good. He doesn't do half the work I do. He says something like that. Perhaps if we convert it to old faith, as Merrick says, then I could be with my beloved Athena. Why don't you just convert? Perhaps you could speak to Jeru about converting us. Oh, wait a minute, there's more we're supposed to do. Oh, I guess now we gotta go talk to Jeru. Where was Jeru? Where was Jeru? One of those. Probably the grove. Now, where is the grove? Ah, grove. <laughs> That's the challenge, just trying to just keep straight where everything is. 
Oh, here's the Wayne, right? Perfect. Bad news. All right, this was the request. Okay, gotta find the guy's wife in the moat house. We shouldn't have got some XP for that. Yep, 42 XP. By the gold's will. Now, how close are we to leveling? About 800 more points to go. Uh, I just know we've got to try to get some improvements, get our gear up or something, so we'll stand a chance when we get to that next area. Behind the moat house Tell you my dark secrets There's the grove. Let's take care of this. Maybe that'll bump us up a notch or two. Man, I love these houses with the trees built in. Must be a pain when the tree ever gets infected. We gotta chop the tree down. Unfortunately, that means you have to burn your house down. <laughs> All right, where? What's going on? Whee! Yeah, that tree there's got Dutch elm disease. Uh. <laughs> Hello again. Okay, questions yes, about the son. old faith. Can what is it you would know? Let's get the right person. Thank you. Hello again. Yes, question. Yes, daughter. Can you perform a Yes, I could. Yes, daughter. Yes, I could perform such a conversion, but. Oh, we gotta go to. Right away. The big church. Okay, let's make it. I think I can remember that much at least. Well, let's go ahead and go north and. Uh, Go to the big church. Yeah, I think that's so. That's the blacksmith. I'm gonna go a little bit. There we go. What's there? Yes, sir. What is this? Okay. Come back when we finish developing the game. Places have we been inside there? <laughs> As you wish. Oh man, Gen Earth. Sure, we bought a we'll good son. Uh, bartering Barton. Okay, should be getting close to this. Oh, what's this? It's like a weapon store. Okay. Trader. Welcome to the Hamlet Trading Post. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't. Oh, I think I saw some. Yeah, we don't have enough gold for any of this good stuff. How much for the spear? Javelin, short spear. Yeah, let's. Ooh, what's this? Long spear. Not enough money. Ah. You know what? I want a. Who is this? Yes, um, glaive. Well, at the very least, I think we need to get. Go ahead and sell his axe. That little buckler. I like how the buckler can clamp on. That's pretty cool. You know, I'd really like a hall bird, I think. But I guess we're going to have to go with the... Oh, I can afford the glaive now. The gisam! 
damage 2d4 20 times 3 that does 1d10 versus 2d4 that does 1d8 okay and spear so that spear does 1d8 20 times 2 what's the best option let me go with the gasab guisab So she'll be okay, I think, with that long sword. Nah, I guess a light mace is okay. Light crossbow, light crossbow. Might not hurt to buy some extra bolts. Probably gonna run out of bolts pretty soon. Okay. So those are some pretty good improvements, I think. Sir, I'm the man at arms, sir. Available for hire. I think we're in a little bit better shape than we were starting off. We've upgraded some armor. We got a better. Got my reach weapon. Happy, excited about that. Thank you, Sam. Sounds kind okay. of French. Guisame. Gwasam! Jeweler. Yes, we need some jewelry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I won't be bored listening to you because I can just click right through the dialogue. Oh, I wonder if we should have waited and sold our stuff here. Tempted to try to steal. Get some more sleight of hand, but. I'll resist the temptation. Just not much of a thief, I guess, when you get right down to it. As you command. There's a potter. Some kind of competition. I have got to figure out how to, uh, Make it default to my spokeswoman. Okay. Wait, this is a different one? At your service. Oh yeah, it is. So yeah, you hit one goes to her. Oh here's the cabinet maker. Great. Butter him up a little bit. Get a better deal. Purchasing a shield. Okay, let's get the shield. Not enough money. Ugh! Okay, that, that's three gold for that. That should be just enough. Well, we are cutting it close. Got her a slightly better shield now. I wish I got some XP for that as well, but... Okay, what else is there to do? We still need to go to this church. I think it's down there. You know, it's funny when you haven't played a game for so long. Certain things you remember, certain things you forget. It's just so random what you remember versus what you forget. Like I, I remember distinctly that when we get to that other area, we're going to be fighting giant frogs. <laughs> like that. Right away. That I remember. That is permanently etched. Is this a brewery? Yeah, one day I'd love to have a place like this. I'll brew my own ale. What's the best beer you make? Appears you're quite successful here. Watch over the aging process downstairs and have three very eager apprentices. Quite an operation. Beer makes people forget the troubles around them. <laughs> yeah, look at Elmo. <laughs> he just forgot everything, yeah. Brings balance to an un- Beer is gone! Beer is gone! What is the best beer? 
At harvest time, our wheat beer is the best in five counties. Gnarly stout, bold taste, the slightly chocolate finish. You know, I blame Temple of Elemental Evil for my interest in ale. You know, you play all these games, you're like, what's a stout? What's a wheat ale? That sounds interesting. Next thing you know, you're Elmo. <laughs> I'm really busy here in the Brawl Meister's a real wretch. There must be something we're supposed to do here. And, uh, what's... Surely they wouldn't have constructed this elaborate brew house without any quests. Maybe I get come back here later, maybe. Okay. Don't like St. Cuthbert much. Okay. Right away. Well, I guess you get to enjoy the uh, the artwork, if nothing else. Maybe I should have asked him how I actually drink the beer. <laughs> Look at this. You felt to use this item. Well, it must be for a quest or something. Maybe they ran out of time and couldn't implement the beer drinking animation. Maybe it was some weird thing with the, the rating. At the rate it is mature, if you... At once. Wait, that's just happened in there already. Okay, this church looks like I'm in the right area. Uh, is there something up there? Whoa! Okay, there's a goblin over here. I was not expecting that. Where is my guy? Uh, where is he? <laughs> Hello? What the hell? Where are you? I guess we can use this to find him. Oh my god, he's like way back there. How'd you get way back there? Yes, sir. Alright, where are you? Okay. Well, this is not good. This is our cleric. Looks like they're in the right area. Whoa! I feel like I drank that ale after all. Alright, run towards them. Can I charge him? As you wish. Wow, that's a long ways. This is like one random goblin over okay. here. Okay. Okay, I guess he doesn't quite have enough movement. Ooh! As you wish. Okay. Hello, where are you? At your service. Ah, that sucks. Oh, my party was not gathered. Come on, I need to get this guy killed so I don't have to deal with this. Target blocked. I'm off. I'm off, all right. Okay. Hopefully, I'll just be able to. There we go. 
should be it, right? Oh, look, the tab's working finally. Yes, sir. So there's his stuff. He had a light made. Oh, look, the tab's working finally. Yes, sir. So there's his stuff. He had a light made. Oh, look, the tab's working finally. Yes, sir. So there's his stuff. He had a light made. Oh, look, the tab's working. As this you wish. Guy up a little bit. All right. I better get back on the beaten path. I wonder who Jay is. All right, this must be the church. Yes, sir. Of Cuthbert. Welcome to the Church of St. Cuthbert. I am Calmud. Please feel free to peruse the tracts and scrolls of our religion, or take a seat on a bench here. No, oh, uh, the poor boxes. I'm afraid the chief cleric. Welcome back. How can I be? I'm afraid the chief cleric tells him he's busy. Well, all the money goes for the good of the church. At the moment, much of our money is helping build the tour in the southeast corner of Toon. Mm. All in the name of St. Cuthbert, of course. Of course. The Viscount and the Arch Cleric of Valuna have requested the funds from us to help build the castle for Verney and how can I be of service, miss? Let's Remember, see. St. Cuthbert rewards those who give freely. St. Cuthbert of the Cut or Church? How can I be of service? I'm afraid the chief cleric Turgeon is busy at the moment. Well, all the money go the Viscount and the How can I be oh, of service? What do we have to do course? here? Oh, it's low on funds. Oh, so we can't talk to the person we need to talk to? We need to steal some money from <laughs> yeah, a couple ways up. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay. Talk to the alert lady. Regular zealot for donations. I need Mitch the Miller to deliver three sacks of flour per week. Got another little quest there. Okay. So she needs flour. I remember talking to that miller. I think we went downstairs. Let's go upstairs. Right away. Okay. We might have to donate to see him. Maybe though. Yeah, I don't. I think we have to get some money and come back. Of course. Okay then. As you wish. I actually won't. Okay. I think we can barter with him. Welcome back to the church. I'm sorry. I'll have. Oh, how can I be of service? Uh, let's how trade. Can I be there of we go. Miss? Remember, Saint Cuthbert rewards those who give. Yeah, that's. Oh, we don't want to sell it though, because it's might be a quest item. Damn. Well, we got a little bit of gold now. Maybe we got enough. Welcome back to the church. How can I be? I'm afraid the chief cleric turned will all the money. How can I be of service? Of course, la. Ah, damn, we don't still don't have enough money. By the gods' will. Okay. Well, that's not good. So, what do we need to do? I guess uh, might just need to go on to the moat house. Th 
thought we might get lucky here and be able to of course. level up before we go, but... Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Is this your ring? Great mother, my wife's ring. Where'd you find it? Found it up on the ridge. Oh, wow, look at this. Cloak of elven kind, plus one arrows. You can just have it. <sighs> Boots or cloak? I don't know. I guess... It seemed like a cloak would be a little bit better. Let's, Let's see. Who got the cloak? What does it do? Does it do anything? Nothing? It says magic cloak. Oh, maybe I have to identify it. Okay, how do I do that? Use it, drop it. Okay. Oh. Click on the wizard. Detect magic. Oh, I guess we don't have identify spell handy. Hey, that's Sucks. Let's see. Find out what's happening. I think I missed something there. Uh, unhappy Taylor, Woodcutter Problem, Cupid Zero, Ring for Black Jay, got that done. Dead sheep. Why his sheep are dying? Yeah, I'm gonna need an identify spell on the cloak, but might still be able to use it. Let's see. Not seeing any changes down there. It's like it's one of those games where you have to know what it's doing. Okay. You have to identify it. Alright. Sheep. Is there some way we can tell what's going on with the sheep? See, one person is just over there stuck. Who is this? Why are you just standing there? I don't know what we need to do for the sheep. This is back in the day when you had to have Game Banshee handy at all times. <laughs> not going to give you two, uh, not going to tell you what you need to do. Just says, there's a problem, you figure it out. I'm trying to remember what else we needed to do. Let's just finish exploring the town, then I think we'll uh, just go on and fight the, go to the moat house. going to get slaughtered, but... That could just be it. A little bit left to explore up here. I guess we could pay to have that item identified. Probably better just do it ourselves for free though. What do we have there? Teamster. Oh, I'm Becky. See anything that looks suspicious? Ah. Well, something suspicious with the Teamsters. Who would have thunk it? 
nice to meet you. Is that it? Of course. Nice to meet you. That's the only. Must be more to it than that. Come on. Okay. Becky. I guess not. Okay. What's going on with that yet? I am getting ready for more combat though. Very slow start to this game, unfortunately. I'm gonna dairy here, that's burger, nothing to sell. Okay, that was exciting. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> We gotta go to the mill. Is that the... Well, at least we got to the mill. Yes, sir. Miller. Some different symbols here. I don't know if it's the right thing to do. Talk to Drew. Yay. <laughs> Talk to the miller, that's easy enough. I just lie. Oh, I learned there you could convert. Agreed to let you convert. Good day. Alright, so we're getting a few quests right done. Away. Now we're almost halfway there. We want us to go back and talk to Drew again, I think, right? What do we have to do? Log, log, log. Cupid Zero. Mission Vicinity. Declo Grow. Unhappy to see where. And why is that one pink? Not sure why that one's pink. La 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 la. At once. As you wish. I'm gonna just go to the t thing. Yes? What is it? Speak anyway, up, what man. is this? Greetings, I am Spence. Well that's your problem, mister. Alright. Why? What do you want? Just passing through. Nice to meet you. Nice farm you have here. How's business? Hunting. Is there fitting in? Anything I can do to help? Take my daughter Frugal off my hands. She needs a husband. What? What do you want? Needs a husband. How do we <laughs> advance this plot line? <laughs> I'd like to marry your daughter. You go down and talk to Ferella. Oh, you again. I follow <laughs> GB. What? Are you seeing this? Did my father put you up to this? He did, didn't he? Well, you go tell him to stop meddling in my affairs. <laughs> I'll get married when I find the right man, and that man will want to get married in a church. You tell oh my god. <laughs> we says she wants a church wedding. That ain't a problem. Oh, you again. Your father says it's okay. Okay then. Are they really gonna let us go through with this? <laughs> what? I won't wait around forever, you know. I'm you know, some quests just aren't worth it, and that is a good example of that principle. Um, yeah, we're not doing it. 
Okay, well, I think that's... Is there anything else we need to do? You know, I have to admit, I'm kind of getting tired of just wandering around talking to people. So well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and save it here, and then we'll go to one of those other towns. Okay, and we're back. Got to turn the anti-aliasing off again. All right. <clears throat> Powered up, ready to rock. Oh. So, I think about the only thing left we need to do in town. Keep a zero. Laszlo. Woodcutter's problem. We want to go to Declo, I think. But I know there's a... It's like a tent city up here somewhere that we need to investigate. Whoa, ho, ho, yay! <laughs> the roller coaster. Where the hell am I? Center. Oh, maybe. I guess we're at the northern extremity. Okay, then let's go to, oh, you know, I don't think we ever explored that little area. Let's just go on to uh, Declo Grove. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Get some large spiders to fight. We'll see how fast we get our butts kicked here. So what do they say? We could just drag it like that. Let him go first. Okay, should be able to poke him. Do the power attack, yeah. Okay. Missed. Okay, here's where we can use that five foot step. I need to call his familiar too, I forgot to do that. Alright, get him back a little bit. Now we can cast a spell. Let's do a summon monster. Ooh! Fiendish dire <laughs> As you wish. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think all she needs to do is just attack, right? right who is this? It's my rogue. No, this is my cleric. Let's try blessing everybody. Blessed, maybe we won't miss so much now. Okay. And then the position. Got a rogue there, just attack. I'm off. Okay. So you only get one shot. Oh, good. Spider missed. My turn again. Right away. Huh. I might have to turn that power attack off. I keep missing. Okay. There goes my diorite. Look at that fiendish diorite. <laughs> All right, come. I better do the mage wish. armor. Like having a little bit of mage armor. Of Come on. Okay. It ain't dead yet. It says it's disabled. It's disabled, man. By the gold's will. Okay. Right away. <laughs> Apparently, it can still dodge. Missed. Oh, poison and ability loss. Uh, it's gonna be one of those games. At once. A spell has expired. I wonder what that was. At 
Okie dokie. Miss. Okay. Not still up. I'm off. Oh, the poison in everybody. Right Missing. Come on. As you, yes, sir. As you wish. Miss. Right away. Oh, this thing must be impossible to hit. Okay. And this is with bless. Yes, sir. Definitely need to turn power That's attack off. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Right away. There, finally. Jeez. By the gold's will. Okay, so what about this poisoned? Probably can't just cure myself. Of course. I don't think there's anything like treat, affliction. Yes, sir. Said he took ability loss damage too. Oh, look at that. Strength is down. Minus down four. Crap. Yeah, don't think we're... Don't think we're ready for this place. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, let's go back to... Let's go back to town. Rest up. Where is the inn? Oh, the inn's way down here. I can't just click on them. That's my bad. I should have said that. I wonder if we go to the world map from here. There we go. There we go! Save a little time. Definitely need to rest up. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't want to pass time. Right away. Oh, did I go the wrong By place? The Durr. Okay. Went to the basement. We want to go upstairs. By the gold's will. There we go. Okay, now we can rest until healed. Oh crap, still got the stupid poison. <laughs> oh man, what is that gonna take? Oh, that is just one mechanic I have never enjoyed. Uh, only thing I can do at this point is remove fear. Yeah, we're stuck with that, I guess. As you wish. Uh, I wonder. Okay, I'm off. I guess we can go to the maybe the temple. See how much this is gonna cost me. I may not be able to okay. afford to get rid of it. Welcome back. How can I be of service, lad? What kind of healing do you need? I'm sorry, but for healing of that nature, you would need. How can I be of. I'm afraid the chief cleric tell you. Welcome back. How can Man, I be of I'm just service? not doing How can good. I be of service, lad. Remember? So I got a. What's this? Hemlock. Where did Hemlock come from? Costs a hundred gold just to identify something. Oh man, man. Right away. This is just not good. So I can't get that off me. I guess maybe that zone just wasn't right for me.
Okay. Uh, so I, I figured out you can just sleep it off, basically. <laughs> Come back here, you rest a couple of days, and it got rid of that poison, thankfully. So I don't have to worry about raising 250 gold. Yeah. Yeah. So at least right we're good away. there. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do okay. while I'm here. Right away. I want to get that identify that cloak so we can get right some away. use out of that. Right away. So let's see. You. Da, 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 da. We need to change one of these to identify magic. Rest. I should be able to cast the spell. As you wish. What? <laughs> yes, sir. Not enough GP. What does that have to do with it? Determines properties of magical items. Huh? What is that? Huh? <laughs> What am I missing there? Each use so it costs you a hundred gold pieces? Even if you're the one casting the spell? Oh my god, this game. <laughs> okay, well I guess that's useless. Jeez. I don't know if they just expect you to have a lot more money than what I've got. Over there. <sighs> it's like the mouse is not quite right. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Okay, come on. Why? God's name, is it do it? I am completely losing my marbles here. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, so we can't even identify stuff. I clearly need to get on the ball with making some money. By the gold, by the gold's will. We've okay. got to have a lot of money. Right away. Yes, sir. He's like a rest of the end I'm for on. free. Okay. Okay, now where was that farmer? Trouble is, there's lots of different farmers. I think it was one with some sheep. I think it's that one. Okay, so let's go to the, back to the town. And we have that hemlock. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, got poisoned. Who's doing it? By so, the gold's will. Okay, so we just it's night time. Oh there we go. Not you. <laughs> you What are you doing? Oh it's a boy. Don't make me hurt you, son. <laughs> You are lying. Tell me the truth, boy. Don't hurt me. You're poisoning the sheep. I didn't know why they wanted these plants dropped here. Honest, too. Can't say anything. They will kill my parents. Huh. Yeah, I guess the first one. I will say nothing. You cannot make me. 
Oh, so we don't... Well, what... How... Ugh. What... <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> I could have Gabe Banshee open on the side just to do, get through these quests. Teamster son dropping poison in the fields. Yeah, somebody put him up to it. Don't worry, Coral will never come on your property again. Oh, good. You give me something? Yep. Slowly but surely taking off these quests. You know, speaking okay. of Game Banshee, I read on there that all of this is optional. You don't have to do any of these uh, quests here in town if you don't want to, obviously. What did he... Did he actually give me anything? Surely I got something for that. See how close my characters are. Oh, we're almost ready to level. Okay, what else can we knock out here? I think maybe going to that lumber yard would be nice. And it is on the eastern side. I think it's... Where is it actually? I want to say in that area. Let's see. Whoa, come back. Yeah, I think it's we're gonna go this way. to get to level two and go to the moat house I think we're going to have to be at least level two to have any hope okay I think we can start going north and I don't want to pass it up got a world map but I can't look at it in the game at the same time, and every time I switch back and forth, I have to do that, uh, turn that anti-aliasing back off. Oh, wait, there's something. I don't think I've been in here. As you wish. You need something? Nice. Oh, it's a stone mason. Let's. I bet you do the talking. Local stone mason working on a castle. What's your next project? What's up with Rufus? Must be off. Okay. Didn't see anything too special to do there. There's the camp. Height, weight. You know, I just felt obligated to check this because, you know, some of these games, I've played them before where you actually age. <laughs> You ever played those and your characters... I think Pool of Radiance is like that. And if you take too long in the game, your characters actually start taking these permanent penalties for being too old. Well, that was kind of useless. You know, by the way, I also figured out why it cost me so much to get past that little Fenrir quest. Apparently you need a character with a high spotting skill to do that. I guess they spot. You think it would be sleight of hand, but this is spotting. Okay, told him I'm a new laborer. This is strange. I'd not think any new workers were scheduled to arrive. Where'd you come from? I came down from Barabunk Bunk, and I needed the work. I guess I can always use the extra help. I had just a laborer. I need the work from the foreman. Seems like you must be doing more than just this work. I suppose I could let you in on a little secret. The job sure is not going to take me what is it worth to you? I can only part with ten gold pieces. 
Oh, back to not having enough money to do anything. Great, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if I can steal from you. <laughs> yes, sir. What do we get? Oh, somebody tried to spot. I don't know what I got. Maybe a few copper pieces. Well, I'm a new laborer. Some side work. All those traders are behind this. Okay, I think we managed to do it without having to pay. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to uh, try a couple different times to talk to people. Good tie. Okay, now we got to go back to Rufus. Whoa, what's this building? Looking out here. Hopefully, we'll get some money for doing this. Maybe some XP too. That'd be sweet. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to fight some frogs, some bandits. Put that spear to good use. You know what I really want to kill? I'm starting to think you're not going to get that opportunity, though. Sad as it is to consider. What can I do for you? That's great news. Spot the traitors. Well, I will need to have a talk with Ranos and Grimag then. I Fit shall go. How may I be of service to you? Well, I suggest you finish. How may I? Okay, so we got fifty gold. Wait a minute. Oh, I guess they gave it to me in platinum. Alright, good then. Alright, is there anything else? I guess I still have it quite leveled. You know, green must mean I've finished it. Um, Captain of the Town's Militia. Who is Okay. Who is that person? Town militia, huh? Must be some place I haven't explored yet. Looks like that would be a, the spot for it. Guard tower. Yeah, wouldn't it be this guard tower? Oh, hang on, I guess I am going to have to do the old <laughs> flipping over routine. Okay, so he's in the lower left corner. Oops, back options. Turn the anti -alias. I don't know why I have to do this every time. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we need to go to there. Oops. Right here, I think. quite look right. Is that it? I'll let him get over there we'll see. No, I need to go further west. And let me check 
You know, we're very close. I get a good solid chunk of XP. Should be okay. good. Written, you say? I don't know. We need to defend the time. Jenneth is a nice fellow and all. He's just not the man we need for the post. Okay, let our lady talk to him. What if Jenneth made uniforms for all the men in the militia? Okay, excellent. I'll certainly let him in for doing that. I'll go inform Jenneth. Okay. Excellent. Where is that tailor? Is he going to tell me which one is the tailor? Carpenter. Tailor's Cottage. Okay, that's, that's lovely, but uh... <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> Okay, well that's not helpful. Uh, I foolishly didn't mark it. I'm trying to think if I'd be able to visually see something that would tip me off as to which one is the tailor. That's the woodcutter. Farmer. Thilda. No, nope. I think I'm just going to have to look at the map again. Here we go. Okay, I finally got a little bit smarter. I got my laptop over here <laughs> so I can look at the map and the guides and stuff without having to do this routine every time. So maybe that'll expedite things. So the tailor is... He's right there. Right there. Okay. Of course, where is there? You know, now that I'm looking at this, I think I can see some little uh, little spools of thread. Where's my guys at? Yeah, let's go back to the center of town. Okay. And yeah, now that I'm look looking at it. Oh wait. That's right. Is that that doesn't have spools of thread. got a map here it's still challenging <laughs> this is generous okay I guess it was him wait is this not the tailor the guy, right? What? Logbook. Unhappy Taylor. Oh, maybe I just automatically completed it. Oh, I thought I had to come back and like tell him. Oh, maybe I do. Okay, I just had to select the wrong option. <laughs> oh, don't tell me I gotta pay him. Get you what you wanted. I'm in the militia. Can you make leather armor? No. Anything to buy or sell? Okay, we get anything for that. I 
Actually wanted me to pay him for doing a quest. What the? Oh, look, so close. Come on. Okay. All right, let's have another look. Let's see what else we might be able to whip through. Cupid Zero. And we should be able to do Cupid Zero. What's the deal? <laughs> Love and Bliss and Hamlet. Should have figured out what's the next step in doing this. Now, I hate these. I hate it when these walkthroughs try to get all cutesy. Just tell me where to go. <laughs> I don't need a narrative. Uh, what was the name? Okay. Cupid's Arrow. I don't even see that one on here. Well, you know what? Maybe we have enough money now to finally see that uh, that town, that church, church guy. Can't even talk. Let's try it. Let's see if we can do that now. I hate to spend that money on on that, but I don't know. Right away. It's probably the best bet okay. for some quick and dirty XP. Welcome back to the Church of St. Cuthbert. How can I be of service, miss? Remember, St. Cuthbert. Yeah, before we do that... Did we do something for this lady down here? Yeah. I guess we didn't get any XP for it though. Okay. Okay, so I guess we just got the turn. Welcome back. Okay. How can I be of talk to the cleric. Chief cleric Terrigeny. Thank you for your kind donate. How can I be of service, miss? Now we can go talk to this. Must be in here somewhere. Come on, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Where are you? There he is. Welcome to the Church of St. Cuthbert, friend. I am Canon Turgeon. How can I help you? Uh, Former conversions. I perform conversions here in my church, providing a willing convert who can convert. Carpenter's brother would like to convert. Blasphemy! That cannot be allowed. If you could speak to Jack Borden, the leather worker and convince him to convert to St. Cup. <laughs> what the? Welcome. How can I help you? You know, I don't think the, the, the writers on this game, probably Kane, doesn't seem to have too positive of a view of organized religion. What kind of healing do you seek? Oh, man. Calmert can cure light wounds. If you are... How can I help you? Do serious ones. Our church was... Tell me about... The Temple of Elemental Evil was Ooh. destroyed in the wars about ten years back. It's... I lost an artifact of St. Cuthbert. It is a copper starburst pendant, not worth much to anyone else. Most likely in the Battle of Hemrity Meadows. That's... Thanks, and good luck. Now, I think I read that you need to be level four to go to Emrity Meadows. Okay. So, I don't think we're ready for that just yet. I think we're going to have to run and talk to this leather worker. This will go a lot faster now that I have this guide out. <laughs> okay, we're... Okay, well, I have done a lot of <laughs> very tedious quests. I've been running all around this town back and forth. Quests that, frankly, would make World of War cracks uh, more inane quests look brilliantly designed, but we're done now. We've got to level two, <laughs> and we're ready to take on the moat. So let's go ahead and level on up here, and then we can uh, pop on over there and see what it's all about. I'm just going to stick with Paladin here for Becky. She 
seems to be doing pretty well with that. Uh, let's see, get some new skills. I'll keep on with the uh, ones I've been working on. I think there's one more of those. Gather information, yes. And a little bit more, a few more points left. Pop it into appraise. Okay, she's good. So you can see the leveling up is pretty easy. If I, I could at this point decide, you know, I'm going to give this, this guy a level of rogue maybe. See if I can work in a sneak attack, you know, or whatever. I just uh, like to keep things simple. Okay, max these out. Oh, it gets another feed already. Okay, so this is my polearm guy. So I could go ahead and pick up cleave. Let's see what else I might do, though. Heighten spell. I could give him improved initiative. Martial weapon proficiency. Surprised he doesn't have that already. Hmm. Looks like he's already got it as an existing feed. I don't know why it's up there again. It's kind of strange. Uh, let's see about. Kind of tempted to go with just the initiative. I think I'll do that. I'm a big fan of that one. It's my favorite, one of my favorite uh, feats, especially a turn-based game. You know. All right, this is my cleric. Almost got confused which one it was. Yeah, spellcraft concentration will be good. I guess I don't get any new spells. This is my rogue. You know, I do kind of like fighter, fighter rogue combos. That tends to work out pretty well. Um, still got some points. Wow. You know, rogues get a lot of skills. Okay, then finally our wizard. Spellcraft. Not as cool as it sounds, but you know. Probably one of the better options. Uh, not sure what else is really going to be useful here. Tumble. Yeah, let's see if I can. Maybe that's as high as I can get tumble for now. Okay, he gets another spell. Ooh, okay. So his was. I think conjuration was his uh, specialty. Magic weapon. That's a pretty good spell. I just don't know how long it lasts from here. Let's see if this will give us a little more info. Wizard level one, uh, magic weapon. Last one minute per level. So what's he, level two? Or is that spell level? Well, either way, it's not gonna last, probably probably last for one battle. Probably would never use it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Detect secret doors, grease. You know, Grace is a pretty powerful, uh, kind of a low-level... You know, let's go with Grace, I guess. Oh, I get two, two options. Okay. Uh, how about a... I guess we could do this magic weapon. Not my f first choice, but, you know... Probably won't ever use it anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and fill in some of these gaps. Another acid splash. He's got summon monster, magic missile, mage armor. I guess you don't even need identify. It's going to be a long time before we have a hundred gold we can just burn. So 
Is burning hands, I think, is that evocation? I'm pretty sure. Let's do a sleep. Okay, good. And we'll give him another. Oh, he's got summon monsters as well. Shield of Faith. That's probably going to be a good one for him. I think that last. How long does it last? One minute per level. Okay, so it's very quick. But it still might be a pretty good choice. Don't want my claret going down if I can help it. Hmm. Last. Pretty sure my uh, paladin is not ready for spells. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back to the inn, going to rest up, learn these spells, and then we're going to head over to the moat and start the game proper. At your Most, I didn't do every single little quest here, but I'm satisfied. Right away. I want to save my money. Hopefully, by the time we're done with the moat, we'll have some good gear we can sell. All right, so I'm going to pause it here, and I'll be back momentarily. Here, no time for you. <laughs> uh, for me, it'll probably be tomorrow. All right, folks, so I'm going to pick it up back here. And I've done enough stuff to get my characters up to level two. So we should be in pretty okay. good shape to take on the frogs at this point. We will right see. <laughs> But uh, it's one of the unfortunate things about this game. It's pretty okay. slow to really get going. You know, unfortunately, they kind of buried a lot of their best content. I'm off. Uh, you know, you got to play for several hours to get to it. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to pick it back up here. I have run around, done a bunch of quests geared up the best I can. I think we're, uh, yeah, I'm at level two now. So I think we're in pretty good shape to head on over to that uh, frog area. See how far we can get with that. So we've done Declo Grove. Let's see. Yeah, the moat house. <laughs> Going behind the moat house. And hopefully uh, we're high enough level now at level two. <laughs> this won't be a total slaughter, but we will see. But unfortunately, that is the problem with this game. One of the problems, anyway. Is that it kind of buries the best part of it, which is this turn-based tactical combat. You know, behind a good two hours, maybe even three hours, of just wandering around doing kind of, you know, vaguely fun, but not the best, most epic quest chains <laughs> that you're going to find. <laughs> Uh, you know, like a lot of games, you got to do some kind of grunt work before you get to the good stuff. I wish they hadn't gotten you to this part sooner. And yes, you can just go immediately to the moat house, but you probably get your, your butt kicked. Like I did. But anyway, we're here now, so let's, uh, let's have some fun. So here's my first frog. And let's see, we don't have a lot of spells at this point. Let's try the old acid yes. splash. Like... Remember, with this game, you don't have unlimited cantrips. They work just like every other spell. Let's see who is this. Spence is my cleric, I think. Of course. I don't want to use up all my magic because we've got okay. a really nasty fight towards the end of this zone. These frogs are not easy. They can definitely... Oh, there comes another one. They can definitely mess you up. By the gold's wind. There we go. Critical hit. That's always good to see. Right away. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Back to Freggy. Oh, grappled. So he won't be able to move. I don't know what other penalties he takes for that. So many different okay. editions of D and D and A D and D. I can't keep them all straight. So he missed his ranged attack. You know, that's the reason why you want your... Just because he's a wizard doesn't mean you can 
do away with your dexterity. You need dex to connect some of these attacks. Okay, there's my cleric again. Right away. You know, it's easy sometimes to click on the wrong enemy. That's another one of the problems with this game. Here we go, it's dead. You see, I'm, re I'm really starting to like this, this pole arm. The reach weapons. I always kind of liked them. But I think they really shine in this, in this game. You know, so many people get it in their heads that they don't like a game that has too much combat. Will do. Uh... For me, that's kind of an oxymoron. <laughs> yeah. How can you have too much combat? You know, if it's just the same old battle over and over again, it's tedious, random encounters, you know, that I get. But as long as it's it's good tactical, uh, you know, strategic combat, I don't, I don't see the problem. It's, it's, why I, it's what I live for! <laughs> okay, yeah, so I guess when these guys are grappled in this edition, they're unable to attack as well. Now can he even like break try to break the grapple, is that a thing? Let's see, offense. I think there'd be a maybe a break grapple. Yeah, break free. There we go. Yes sir. Alright, so he escaped. As you wish. A little bit of movement left. Not enough time. I'm not sure what's going on with him. Okay. Still working on this second giant frog, but I really haven't taken any damage yet. I'm off. I think it got through the whole battle without even a, a scratch, really. That is nice. No loot on those. But we should be good to go if I can just get used to these controls again. <laughs> Don't switch back and forth between this and Pathfinder. You know, I'm still working on my Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous game, and the controls are just similar enough to confuse the heck out of you. Of course. Okay. Did he miss again? One of these rolls misses him. Does it give me the rolls? Yeah, he gets a plus two dexterity bonus. Oh, a minus four firing into melee penalty. I forgot about that. So the fact that this is a uh, you know, if there was a frog that was further back, I guess it might work better. So I might actually be might actually be worth taking that. Um, I think there's a feat, point blank or something like that, that takes off that penalty. That it might actually be worth investing in. Okay, he should be able to attack with his reach weapon. Okay, so Rogue keeps missing as well. Kind of misses her. Probably gets that same penalty. No, he's got point. No, he has a point blank shot, so it just gives him plus one. But it's still taking off four. So that ain't good. Uh oh, here comes another frog. Oh, see, there's that attack of opportunity kicking in. Yes, sir. That's gonna be nice. By the gold's will. Missing. Well, at least they're missing too. <laughs> so all these characters are in melee, I suppose. I could try to... Yeah, I could try to sleep them, but that... That might also send my characters to sleep. <laughs> I really want to summon that dire rat, but... <laughs> you know, I'll try to hold off. Maybe I'll just go ahead and cast my mage wish. armor. I thought I already had that on. Okay, I'll just leave him be for the moment. I want to. Dang! 38! The frog is dead! <laughs> I'm really starting to like these reach weapons. Grapple failed, range touch attack missed, excellent. Now we can charge with her, I think. Right away. For him. Who is that? Spence. Do another charge attack. You see, things get a lot more interesting when you get into combat. You know, I'd sure rather be doing this than running around trying to match make. <laughs> what was with that? Is he done with his turn? All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and save it. 
Now these battles are fairly challenging, but it's nothing compared to what, what's, what's, what's ahead of us, so... We get to the moat house, that's when it's going to get really tough. I doubt we'll have another level by that point. Of course. And we do have ammo, you've only got so much ammo. I'm going to go ahead and move him back a five foot step. Yes, sir. A little free movement just to get out of uh, out of range. Surge. Yeah, you know, I think there's a way to assign hotkeys to these uh, radio commands, but okay. I'm okay with just doing it manually. But if yes. you're going to play all the way through the game, you'd probably want to invest in that at some point to keep you from having to. Now, there's the moat house. Now, once I get over there, it is a big, tough fight. So I want to try to fight all the frogs I can first. Probably not anywhere close to leveling. Let's see. What does he need? What do they need for level 2? 1,000. Level 3 is 3,000. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, 3,000. Okay. So, we got a ways to go. That ain't gonna happen. Win every little fight. A little bit more XP. I'm not sure if there's any uh, treasures around here. It keeps on... Somehow or another, I keep deselecting my party. Oh, what is that little... Firefly flitting around? Really pretty. Yeah, see, it did it again. I guess when you click off someplace they can't go, it deselects. Okay, as far as I can tell, there's no more... No more frogs. I'm just going to save it again before we go inside there. As you wish. Okay, yeah, here's this really tough fight here. Hopefully, we can survive it. As you I'm going to use my magic here. Okay, what does he have that might help us out? Shield of Faith would be good, probably. Let's go ahead and do a bless. Right away. This is a... Uh, Oh, I guess you could select who you want to have it. How do I do that, though? I don't want him to have it. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Interesting. So, I guess there's some way to adjust that. I'm pretty sure I didn't do that right. Okay, but anyway, looks like all my folks are blessed. Maybe I had enough charges just to bless everybody. Right, there's my paladin. And I would just die to be able to zoom in and scroll around a little bit. Let's do the charge. Alright, got one down. Oh, taking some damage. I don't think... Since this guy's not in melee, maybe that would be the better target. I'm off. Yeah, there we go. Now it looks like he's in melee. Oh, near death already? Okay. Yeah, here's where I want to try my sleep spell. Let's go ahead and try that. As you wish. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Maybe we can sleep some. Oh, one of them went to sleep. So, that wasn't all that helpful. At least we got one down. Better than nothing. I don't know if it'd be better to go for the leader first or try to get some of these smaller targets out of the way. Okay, got our cleric. Okay. He's still up. 
Oh, he's down. Good. Okay. I actually survived this. I'm kind of getting uh, excited. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we can actually survive. Looks like a good candidate for a charge. Missed. Oh, we got some arch. Oh, 10. Damn. Right away. <laughs> One. Oh, thank you. Well, she's down, dying. That sucks. Okay. Probably gonna have to reload this a few times to survive this. See, I don't even know if I can even heal without getting attacked. Right away. Probably get an attack of opportunity if I try to heal her. Let's just see if I can get through this battle. Right away. It'd be nice if you could do more than one point of damage. <laughs> Let's try the good old magic missile. You know what else I could do? I could summon a... Yeah, let's go ahead and summon the rat. Yes, sir. There we go. I got an attack of opportunity on the rat. Interesting. Alright, he's down. As you wish. Let's see, she's unconscious. I think it said she's stabilized. Comes the rat. Oh. Will do. Damn, my rat got a critical hit. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this son of a gun with a magic missile. Of course. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I think we got it. Right away. Yep, dead. Is there another one? No, I think we're good. Okay, now I can try to heal up. Uh, nope. Try to heal up my. Uh, As you wish. Paladin. Disabled. What does it mean sleeping? So I didn't do anything. Let's see. Cure minor wounds. Okay. Alright, there she is. So she's okay. We survived. We survived. <laughs> Who is sleeping, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, we still got that. There is one still sleeping. We need to finish him off. Where is he? Oh, you know, I don't think I can target the guy that's still sleeping. Might have to wait for him to wake up and then attack him. Oh, wait, there he is. Okay. Coup de grace. Not enough time. <laughs> Just attack. Right. He woke up to die. That's the worst way to wake up, you know. A sword in the face. Okay. Surely there's some treasure here. Alright, got some good... A lot of good stuff there. Let's just collect it all. Okay. I am encumbered. Okay. Yeah, there's no party loot system here either. By the golds... Okay. Hold down the... How... Ah! Yes, sir. You know that one of the sucky things I guess is that there's a you know given how often you loot things in a game like this a cumbersome system for looting is not going to be okay. ideal. Okay. It's kind of hard to see who's been okay. looted already. But. I am overburdened. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Some gloves. Can we do anything? Leather gloves. You know, it costs so much to identify items. What's going on here? We need a lot of money, basically. I guess everybody's got gloves already. 
Another armor, plus two. I don't know if that's going to be an upgrade for anybody at this point. But we can always take it back and sell it. I don't know if these boots are even worth hauling back. Rusty longsword, a helmet. Here's some barbarian armor, plus three. Hmm. Let's see, yeah, plus three. Maybe my rogue could use it. I have too many items. It looks like it's a little better than that armor. I am overburdened. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, is that it? Some of this might be magic. Let's see, I didn't have much luck with this before. Let's try it again. Do a detect magic spell. No, not you, you! No, it just got read magic. I thought I had to detect magic somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Right away. So how does this work? Just give him all the stuff and see if any of it's magical, I guess. What is that? Bolts? That'll come in handy. Okay. So it looks like nothing is magical. That's too bad. Yeah, it looks like we got a little bit more to explore here, so let's go ahead and yes, peek sir. in there. Oh! <laughs> oh, I guess these are good rats. Oh, that's too bad. I guess I... Look at them, though. I guess I could just attack them anyway. That may be where... You know, I should rest before we do anything else. No way. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the camping. Ten days? Come on. I don't want to rest for ten days. You know, heck, I guess I could just go I'm back off. to... Oh, crap. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> let's, not, let's not do that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I did a quick save. You know, I must have hit the wrong button for quick save. Ah! Okay. Hey. As you wish. Well, that wasn't there before. Okay. Yes, sir. That was my bad. I thought I was hitting the right As button for quick save, but obviously not. Okay. It's As you wish. Yes, sir. Him again. <laughs> yes, sir. And click okay. on the right guy, please. Of course. Oops. Right away. Okay, no more room for that item. Of course. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Yes, Just. Uh, of course. Make sure I've got as all the loot you, here. Of course. And we'll just go back to town right quick. Away. Sell the stuff. As you wish. Right away. There we go. Take it all. Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's just run back to town, sell okay. this, and then we can come back and Maybe actually I didn't have enough money to identify some items. Yeah, I guess I could just go straight to the world map, right? Yeah, there we go. No random encounters. At your service. So the loot. Hello. No, I 
it how do you sell stuff uh, food <laughs> I want a sample there we go all right barbarian ham I do not want to buy that from you do not want to buy that oh she's not gonna buy anything okay uh, they had to make it realistic that's a good example of just sometimes just because something is realistic does not make it more fun. Oh, I gave that to the wrong guy. I am overburdened. I am carrying too much. All right, so I guess we have to find go back to the blacksmith probably. It's not too far to go. Oh. Back to Tristram. Oh, that's right. We need to be using the bartering character. I'm not sure if it's activated. Do I actually like to put stuff into her inventory? No, 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 no. Okay, what else is here? There's a long sword, seven gold, five silver. So that's actually a little better than what I had. Oh, no. I usually just like whatever is more expensive, you know, it's usually usually a good idea. It's and use that instead. So let's see, that is worth seven gold. Let's see if it's better than what my paladin has. Seven gold. Nope, same. Let's go ahead and sell it then. Now that's worth ten gold, a great axe. I am encumbered. I am carrying too much. Oh, it's gonna be. I think that's a two-handed item anyway. I'm just gonna sell it. We got a carnelian can sell. Barbarian. Wow, that's worth quite a bit. Light mace. Wait, who is this character? I just sell her. It's very confusing. Okay. He's got that. For some reason, this guy does not have a weapon. Must have somehow accidentally, uh. Uh. Somehow or another, I accidentally. Uh, get rid of his weapon. Okay, two gold. Two gold. Leather gloves, five silver. Leather boots, five silver. Two silver. So I guess we can give the mage these items. Sure, it was an easier way to do that. A rusty longsword. Huh, I wonder if there's anything special about that. Maybe I'll hold on to it. No, that was rusty too. Okay. Sometimes when they call an item, sometimes when it has a special description, you know, there's a little chance that it could be magical. But I don't think that's the case here. All right. So I think maybe we have enough gold now. There's some more stuff. And yeah, there might be a better way to do this than just dragging it over, but I don't know. And what's this? A light crossbow, and he's... That was worth nine gold. That was worth nine gold. Okay, sell. So. I think that's all we have to do, right? Okay. One more rusty long sword to sell. Let's go ahead and identify that. Identification costs a hundred gold pieces. And I think we have enough to do that. Let's go ahead and try that. Cloak of Elven Kind. 
Shift click for more info. Yeah. <laughs> okay, shift click. Nothing. Now you gotta be out of this interface. Let's try it again. Where'd you go? Shift click for more info. A plus five bonus to their hide skill. So sounds like a good item for my My rook, he had a black cloak. Okay, if that's just for decoration or what? Uh, passing time, what is it showing me this for? Okay, let's hop back to the end, rest up, and then we'll go back and do a little more fighting. I'd like to get through that first little zone. That'd probably be a good stopping point. Of course. Yes, sir. Let's see how we do. I don't. I don't have the. This game makes me use the whole screen, or the window version has some problems. I don't like dealing with, so I'm just using the, the full yes, screen. But unfortunately, that means I can't see my recording software. I just have to hope that it's working. <laughs> you know. As you command. I'm okay. Okay, I don't want it to go for too long without changing the file. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that quick. Okay, I'm back. Let's go back to the place. Ah, we could fight some lizard men. Let's just avoid them. I think that's the survival skill that determines whether you can skip the random encounters or not. It probably would have been a fun fight, but I just kind of want to kind of want to move on. I also want to use my secret entrance here. I think we're better better off coming in the side than going head on. Takes a little while, but okay. Right away. Let me check my guy here, make sure he's still got... Yeah, he's got some arrows left. Now just getting a little bit low on arrows. Go ahead and cast my mage armor. As you wish. I'm pretty sure you... I guess you can cast mage armor on other people, but... All right, those corpses are gone. Okay. Now here's these rats again. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, a viper. I guess the that makes sense. You know, the viper eats the snakes. Okay. Of course. Can you make it all the way over there? Cool. Okay. Okay, hit him. Nice. Of course. This will probably be a miss. Yes. Yeah, I should have bought some arrows. I don't know why I didn't think of that. As you command. Oh, miss. Church. Oh, snake's gonna get a As you wish. an attack on us, I guess. Here we go. Uh, and poisoned, of course. Yes, sir. And for that, I got to go all the way back to town and rest. Okay. Several days, I think, to get rid of that. Right away. Unconscious. At once. What do you mean unconscious? Finish that. Finish it off. Okay. Yeah, neutralized poison is way too advanced for me. I got a potion of light wounds. Do I have a potion of neutralized? I have anything that'd get rid of that poison, I wonder. Uh, I got a heal, but that's a bit overkill. Let's see. Give me any info about the poison. Let's see. Where might. Tell me. 
There we go, poison. One D six to con. Well, let's just try to live with it for now. I'm up. okay. Oh no, 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 select everybody. No, I'm not seeing anything in here. This might be a good spot to use my search ability. Found. By the gold's will. Hmm. Sure would think there would be something. Yes, sir. What was that option? Use magic device decipher. What was that? Decipher script. Interesting. Okay. So anyway. That poison went away. That's awesome. Okay. What else do we want to do? There's some stairs. A couple of rooms in here. I'm off. Nope. Search everywhere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Still not finding anything. What is this? A giant tick. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Get you out of there. Giant tick. I guess we're gonna get Lyme disease now. I don't think we can charge around the corner. Okay. No. <laughs> of course. It's worth the shot. Target blocked. Of course, as you wish. Okay. There we go. Yes. At once. You should be able to reach in. Oh, I guess he used up all his movement. He's going somewhere. Wow, three attacks of opportunities and every one of them missed. By the gold's will. By the gold's will. Yes, sir. Wow, this thing must be hard to hit. I'm trying to okay. ask him to splash. There, got him. Yes. At once. I'm crazy about right all away. these misses. Will do. Okay. Okay. Near death. One more pop should do it. Right away. Ah. <laughs> Swat the tick. Okay. Jeez. Yes, sir. There we go. We got him. Yes, sir. I just have to hope that this tab key works. At once. Something in there, a giant lizard. And it's hostile. At your service. Ooh. As you All right. Oh, I like the little twirl. Man, he is kicking butt with his... What is that thing? A gisarm! I'm very impressed with that gisarm. I need to look up how that's actually pronounced. I'm probably butchering it. You know, I just keep getting the sneaking suspicion that there's all kinds of stuff that I could search. I'm off. <sighs> is there a search mode? Baldur's Gate has a... Probably. Alright, so I can go outside and have the big fight, or I can go upstairs and see what's up there. Right away. 
Okay, what are we dealing with here? I guess I got caught flat-footed. My wizard's right in the terrible spot. All right, let's see if I can do a movement to get him back. As you wish. It's not going to be too effective. Let's try our sleep spell. Let's try it there. All right. <laughs> well, that made things a little bit easier. All right, now I can just focus on these guys. He's already down. Damn. That'll work. At your service. Oh boy. Yeah, maybe I'll just take their uh, their gold this time. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they're just sleeping. By the gold's huh? will. By the gold's will. Yeah. Right away. I just want them dead. Right I, don't, I don't want them to wake right up. Away. I don't know if they would wake up and uh, try to okay. kill me or just die when they wake up. But just to be on the safe side. Right away. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not, not liking this looting system very much. Very, very cumbersome. Okay. Probably a mod that would fix that. This guy's got some uh, crossbow hand axe. Let's leave the rest of this stuff alone. That wasn't so bad. And I'm telling you, the difference even one level makes. Ooh. The son of a gun with a magic missile. <laughs> How you like that? Okay. Oh, he's, he's a long ways away. Ah, I still got him. <laughs> oh, there's another one somewhere. Ouch. Yes, sir. This dwarf is doing like all my kills for me. Whoa, did my mage just... My wizard just took him out. Uh, where'd you come from? Right away. You know, I think one of the trade-offs to doing a charge is that you lose some AC. Of course. Pretty sure I read okay. that somewhere. It's considered kind of a reckless okay. move. You get... You can move further, but the trade-off is uh, let's see, light mace, light crossbow. The trade-off for that mobility is a little bit less AC. You know, I forgot okay. what button it is for the <laughs> for the quick save, so I'm just doing it manually every time. Club. I just hope none of this stuff is like really potent magic items I'm passing up here. Right away. Alright, as you wish. Go in. You know, I can't take it. I cannot take it. We're gonna fight those rats, folks. <laughs> it's just, there's no excuse. You can't put Matt Barton in a game. A bunch of As you rats running around. Somehow, I'm not supposed to kill them? No. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, don't miss. Okay. Right away. There you go. Right away. Get those rats. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Those rats are like, man, what are you doing? 
As you wish. We were just like walking around. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I got some experience points. Oh, there's some more. What? Where'd this guy's come from? Is this like an infinite supply of rats? No way, is it? Okay. At once. As you command. I might be here for a while. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if you just had an unlimited rat supply? Right away. Okay. Quite away. Of course. Come on, right I know you want to. You know, rats would be hard to. Yes, sir. To hit, I'm sure. Come on. I'm off. Yes, sir. Right away. Oh, miss, miss, miss. This guy must be of course. super quick, rat. Right away. As Will do. He's okay. up all my ammo. I got him. Yeah, there comes some more. Look at that. You get 42 XP for each one you kill. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, maybe they anticipated somebody like me come along and playing this one day and like, you know, there's somebody that's going to complain there's not enough rats in the game, so we're just going to make unlimited rats. You know, the guy can, if you want to, you can just sit there and kill rats all day long. Right away. It's a beautiful, oh crap. That's a beautiful thought, isn't it? You know, look, folks, I see an axe on the ground, okay? <laughs> you can pick... Yes, sir. Ah! Right away. Okay. Oh, that looks like something. An ogre! Oh, better save it. Don't camp. I just... All right, let's fight this ogre. This is going to be nasty. Can I get any info about the ogre? I try talking to him. As you command. <laughs> yeah, that would have been too easy just to take him out one blow. Eh, it might be worth the magic missile, or at least the... Try and ask it. Get in range. As you wish. Okay. I think I just went over his. Of course. As you wish. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm gonna be in a perfectly straight line. So that ain't gonna work. Right away. Okay. Oh, thank God he missed. 13 points. He's injured. I'm off. Miss. Miss. Oh, cool. Splash. Missed. As you wish. These my melee guys are hitting. Okay. You wouldn't think something this big and ugly would be so hard to hit. Oh, he missed again. Thank yes, God. 51 damage, he's still, he's up. Near death, though. Ah, oh, got it. Whew. And an ogre okay. kill. Whoa, wait. oh, copper. <laughs> I got all excited. <laughs> no, it's just copper. Oh, a magic cloak. Okay, but I, I guess I don't know what it is.
I do know it's magic, though. That's cool. So at least it identifies uh, what's magic and not. Okay, we're doing. We're kicking some butt here. Very happy with this. What is that? Some stairs down. I don't want to go to the next level. What's going on in here? Doom captive. I am nimble. Thank you for rescuing me. I am eternally grateful. What are you doing down here? I was adventuring down here with my warrior friend Gleam and her cleric friend Chanda. Gleam pulled this huge ogre onto us and it started to beat us to a pulp. Well, Chanda just stopped healing us. It was as if she went into some sort of trance. Gleam was almost dead, so I just arranged our surrender to the ogre. I didn't want her to die. I think it would have been better for you to just die. The ogre has tortured us and beat us badly. I am no longer afraid of death. Now he intends to eat us, I fear. Oh, well, he's dead now. <laughs> dead, you say? That is pretty impressive. Yes, it is. Very impressive. Please take this iron ring as a gift. They will let all gnomes in the area know that you are a gnome friend and they should be helpful if you have a need. Okay. We got a ring. Somewhere is a gnome ring. I guess we'll give that to our pally. I guess it probably fit on her pinky finger. Because it's a gnome ring. Oh, it's a little tricky getting around these places. Yeah. Zombie. And why is my wizard work up there? Oh, I don't want Workla in charge, in front. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think I should be able to use green slime. Should be able to turn undead. Zero. Oh no. I might. I might need magic weapons to damage these things. I might be totally screwed here. Look at that slime. Oh, that, well, the slime is not not a problem. Well, huh? If I had to have magic to kill these things, yes, sir. Oh, a lot of attack of opportunities on me. I need to get this wizard the hell out of here. Oh, oh crap. Press the wrong button. I'm going to turn anti-aliasing back off again. Okay, so I can't get him out of there, huh? Well, this could be interesting. At once. Well, looks like I can do some damage to him. Okay, she's got turn undead, right? Heal, sneak, smite evil. Oh, I forgot I even had that. <laughs> Lay on hands. <laughs> Detect evil. Okay, so she's got some options. I don't think, I guess you can't turn undead yet, though. No. Okay, get out of that. Let's just attack. Right away. Oh, I didn't. I should have used my... My Pathfinder. Oh. Where's all this additional slime coming from? Yeesh. There's a lot of enemies here. 
Oh, what's he doing? He's attacking my rogue up there. Yep. Probably going to have to reload and maybe come back here when we're a bit more powerful. Although I might get lucky with a turn undead. Right away. Does that do anything? I don't know right if that actually did anything or not. Doesn't look like it did. Right away. Oh, this is getting really ugly. He still can't move. He's only got one hit point left. Ah, uh, okay. I guess we'll try to cast a spell. Try to summon something. Of course. Yeah, he's dead. Too many attacks of opportunity. I am done. Oh yeah, I gotta reload now. Don't want dead characters. That's a little bit too expensive to deal with at this point. You know, I don't know why this formation is so messed up. He shouldn't be in the lead. You know, this, this is a... Uh... Yeah, let's try that setup. Should be fine. Okay. Creep in there. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's a little better. Now I can just open up with a. Oh, what, what the fuck? <laughs> what did you to attack? Okay, it's still salvageable. Let's get you out of the way. Okay. Right away. Yeah, maybe they're not working no damage. Yeah, he's got resistance to slashing, looks like. Damage. Well, that got piercing, though. Okay. Don't quite understand what happened there. Let's definitely summon the... Let's get our dire rat back okay. out. Hopefully they don't kill the damn thing before it even gets to... It's near death already? Oh, this is a... This could be a very tough fight. Here, he's near death. You got one... Ooh, what happened? One down anyway. Okay. Okay. comes the slime right towards my wizard that <laughs> slime looks weird <laughs> oh no I have to get the my wizard out of the way I'm off at least it doesn't have much hit points. That's good. Just get you to move over here. Of course. And let's hit it with. Uh, yes, yeah. sir. Why can't I do that? <clears throat> yes, sir. <laughs> it's got more than two hit points, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna try my turn undead again. Could be these zombies are too high level for that to work. Oh, they killed my rat already. Right away. All right, at least I got him in the clear. By the gold's will. All right, he's in the perfect spot to do this. Let's try it again. 
As you wish. Turn on. Okay, that time it looks like... Yeah. Yeah, some of these guys have turned now. Okay. At least two of them. And we get a tax of opportunity as they try to flee. So this is, uh... This might be okay. I'm off. Yes. Oh, I think I just skipped my wizard's turn. That wasn't smart. Oh, seven points of damage. These are nasty. At least they don't infect you. As you command. Yes. Okay. By the gold wheel. They don't have a lot of health if I could just survive this battle. There's so many of them though. Okay, let's see if I can move him. Good. Now heal. Okay. <sighs> Four points. As you wish. Well, maybe that'll make the difference. We'll see. I'm off. Oh, I can't. I can't move at all. I can Will move do. There, I guess. Will do. Uh, something happened. At one. Uh, three. Three points. Man, that is nice. I can see why people are recommending the the pole arms and that. Uh, what was it? Combat Maneuvers? I forget the name of it. Whatever that feat is, it lets you make more than one attack of opportunity. That is definitely going to be handy. That was really good advice. As you wish. Zero. Yes, sir. Okay. There. Not responding Break well away. to arrow attacks. Come on. Okay. At least they're missing too. Oh, you see that I screwed up and moved, but uh, he tumbled. I'm off. So they didn't get that attack of opportunity on me. Yes, sir. Okay, still missing. They could still defeat me even at this stage of the game. As you wish. Enough unlucky rolls. Oh. I'm off. On. Badly injured. Okay. Right away. Miss. Ah. By the gold wheel. All right. One. Well, I got several left, I guess. Okay. <laughs> But oh crap! Yes, sir. Stupid cleric went down. Yes, sir. Okay, I gotta patch him up. Okay. Not enough time. Okay. Maybe she can do it. By the gold's will. Heal failed. <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> Okay. Heal failed. Okay. Surely somebody can heal this guy. Damn. Okay. Ah, okay, this is good. Yeah, I guess I could lay on hands maybe. Now that I remember I have that. Ask. 
Well, that, I guess that didn't help. Maybe you have to have at least one point in heal for that to even work. Can you use a potion on him? Yes, sir. I think I drank the potion. What is it pointing at? He yes, healed the dude. Did I just try to heal the zombie? Where is Workala? No suspense this down. What the heck happened there? Why is Spence down? Oh, this is just going from bad to worse. <laughs> Man, I'm starting to lose track. What the heck is going on here? As you wish. All right, you'll succeed. All right, now we just need to kill these other two, and I think we're good. We will obviously need to go back and rest. Yes, sir. Right away. I'm off. Two hit points. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh wait, there's two more. Where are these guys at? Oh, way over there. Okay. Not out of the woods yet. Right away. Right away. Oh wait, he's still. Oh, I didn't see him there. Okay. Of course. And he's not turned anymore. And for some reason, I didn't get an attack of opportunity. What the hell? That one's down. Okay. One left to go. By the gold's will. Okay. Okay. As you command. Got him. Woo! At once. And we gained a level. Awesome. All right, folks. I think that's probably enough. Enough Temple of Elemental Evil for one video. <laughs> you know, uh, it is definitely a game that takes a lot of patience, especially that opening segment. But I mean, once you start to get into it, you start getting into the, the combat and exploring this mode house, it gets to be a whole lot better fast. You know, it really sells it to me is the, this leveling system and the, and the feats. I always love that. Oh, I already get another feat. Or is that another foot? I think it's another feat. Right? Hmm. Yeah, this is my... Who am I looking at here? Becky's is my paladin. So as a tank, she might... Could get that combat expertise. Extra turn in grid fortitude. Improved initiative is always a good one. Ooh, what's improved turning? Your turning or rebuking attempts are more powerful than normal. You turn or rebuke rebuke creatures as if you were one level higher. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, that might be worth getting. Of course, power attack's also a really good one. Oh, you know, they're all good. But I think toughness is the way to go. For a, uh, for a tank. Courage. Well, I guess you got her aura of courage now, too. This just gets better and better. Okay, a spot, survival, tumble. Good feats. Dude. No, I don't want to do that. Weapon finesse, no. Widen spell. Rapid reload, point blank shot. Dodge, maybe? Combat reflexes was the one. Yeah, now we can do cleave. Yeah, that's a good choice. Let's see, is this one of those games where you can, uh, when you level up, you get full health back? That'd be great. Combat casting. That might be a really good choice for him, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's do that. No, he did not heal. That's too that's unfortunate. Can I use a potion? Uh, let's see. Use an item. Okay, well that worked. Go ahead and level him up. This is such an... I always love the leveling process, don't you? <laughs> Makes it all worth it. Oh, wow. He's got a lot of... Oh, this is my thief. Yeah, we need to do... Uh, let's see. Disable device. All the way up. Open lock all the way. I can go. Move silently. Let's... Slide a hand, maybe. Spot... Uh, tumble, magic device, good choice, survival. Well, what else is there? Search. Still got one point. I guess I could give him a point of heal. In case my cleric decides to go down again. You make a number of additional attacks of opportunity equal to your dexterity bonus. Dodge, great fortitude. He needs that point blank shot, I think. Let's see, you can shoot or throw ranged weapons at an attack engaged in melee. Oh, there we go. It's not point blank shot, it's precise shot. Yeah, that's what we want. Perfect. You know, I might want the same thing on my wizard here. We'll see. Never quite sure what to give my wizards in terms of skills. Okay. Oh, you gotta have point blank shot to get precise shot. Uh, is that worth it? Let's see what else we got here. You know, unfortunately, a lot of spells do require the... Oh, here's Craft Wonders item. Now, I've been told that this is really, really valuable. I don't know if I want to take it this early on. But apparently the crafting system in this game is important because that's how you get the best... Uh, the best items in the game are the ones you make. Uh, yeah, these meta magic feats are pretty awesome, but hmm. I think I might go with. I'd really like to get his uh, this uh, the precise shot. Get rid of that negative four thing. 
But dodge might make the difference in life and death. Gives you bonuses against the first monster to attack you in a round. First combat casting would also be good. Ah, I don't know. I'll just go with dodge. Oh, we get some new spells. Cool. Oh, I've got spell level two now. Attacks miss. Blur. Mirror image is always a good choice. Scorching ray, summon monster two. Yes, please. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. There's three levels of this game. You know, I could go on. I actually would love to try out my new my new stuff. But I think this is good enough to give you a pretty good indication of whether you like this game or not. Uh, I would like to play this some more. You know, I don't want to make like an 18-hour long video. <laughs> uh, but I feel like, you know, I have played it. I played it all the way through back when it came out, and I had a, a good time with it. You know, just going back and playing it again after all these years. Uh, yeah, there, there's some things, you know, if you're used to the Pathfinder interface, I mean, it'd be lovely if I could rotate the camera, zoom in and, and out, and do stuff like that, but, you know, it is what it is. It'd be nice to have a, a good uh, remake of this game, a good update. You know, a remaster, whatever you want to call it, that'd be good. Uh, I love the, the tactical system. The radio menu works quite well. You know, as I said, you can even assign hotkeys to that if you don't like the radio menu for whatever reason. Uh, the level of control you get, just being able to do things like ready versus spell, you know, ready versus approach, uh, that's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. The way you can move around the field. Uh, and there's lots of stuff here I didn't even play around with. And you can see how by the time you got to level 10, or level 20 if you raise the level cap, you're going to have quite a few things to play with. And it's the kind of game where it does reward you for being strategic and, and in the long term with your leveling. And then, of course, tactical with how you play these uh, individual battles out. So, uh, it's just a really enjoyable game. Uh, obviously, if they'd have had more time, they probably could have polished this up more, give you more stuff to do. Uh, some of it might feel a little bit repetitive, perhaps, and, you know, maybe some of those early quests are kind of laborious, not, not necessarily the most fun thing. Uh, but, you know, no, no, nobody's perfect, and I think this game really holds up well, especially once you apply those patches. So, uh, I'm going to leave it off here. Temple of Elemental Evil, definitely worth your time. Get the patch, get the Circle 8 thing, you'll be happy. I think you'll uh, find a lot to enjoy about this game. I mean, there's a reason it's considered a cult classic. And that's all for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry it took so long to get this video out. Uh, it took me quite a while, actually, to get this game uh, to the point I felt comfortable, or to get myself up to the point where I felt comfortable reviewing it. Even though I actually played it all the way through back in the day. You know, it's amazing how much you forget about a game. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the finished product. And again, I'll put the link to the GOG.com page where you can buy your, <laughs> your own digital copy of the game. You'll have a lot of fun. Uh, maybe you can even make those chocolate chip cookies uh, that uh, Tim Kaine has in the manual there. And let me know how that goes. Uh, okay, uh, first of all, I want to thank you very, very, very much for keeping this show on the air, keeping Matt Chat alive after all these years. We're almost done with another year of Matt Chat. You know, can you believe that? <laughs> it's just uh, kind of been a fun, uh, insane ride with you guys. I'm sure happy uh, that you're watching these episodes and, you know, keeping the, uh, the production going. Uh, if you want to support the show... Uh, all you got to do is go to that link in the show notes to the Patreon site. You can become a Ratron, join the Discord channel. We even have some awesome new uh, emojis for the Discord. <laughs> uh, just all kinds of fun stuff going on over there. highly encourage you to go check it out. Uh, some really great, uh, great discussions. But uh, it all starts with you going to that Patreon site. A buck a show, a buck a week, a buck a month. You know, however you want to set it up, whatever you're comfortable with. Just know that I appreciate it. So thank you very, very very much. All right, what about that news from the Met Cave? Yeah. 
I got some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, first up is the Amiga A500 Mini. Uh, this is basically a little uh, A500, Amiga 500 computer. It's a really great uh, computer, but also had plenty of great games for it. Uh, anyway, this has an integrated keyboard on it. It's got a mouse. It has a uh, gamepad that ships with this. It's 140 bucks. Comes out on March 25th by Retro Games Limited. Uh, it comes with 25 games, and to be honest, a lot of those are probably the ones you'd want to play. It's got Pinball Dreams, Zool, Speedball 2, Worms, of course, just uh, a lot of uh, another world. I mean, a lot of great Amiga games built into it, uh, but there's also a USB port if you want to play, I guess, uh, games that didn't make it into this uh, list of 25. Uh, anyway, I think this will definitely be a, an item to pick up. It'll be a, a little bit of a wait, I suppose, but I'm going to keep uh, uh, definitely keep tabs on this. <clears throat> Uh, next up, Punny, and a lot of other people actually referenced this, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Uh, this is a classic action role-playing game. I think it was out on the, one of the PlayStations originally. Uh, but now you can get it on GOG at $29.99. Experience the massively popular world of Baldur's Gate as never before. Uh, the This version lets you play, I guess they all do this, but with this you can play uh, solo or co-op it with a friend. It uses the third edition D&D uh, &D rule set, so definitely check that out. I've heard a lot of great things about this game. Apparently it's really fun in co-op mode, but I've, I've never played it, actually, so <laughs> I'm really eager to pick this up and see what it's all about. Uh, and then lastly, Matt Shurgi wrote in about this, and this is probably the most awesome headline I've ever seen. <laughs> Scientist trains rats to play video games. And not just any old, any old video game, but Doom 2. Uh, this is somebody named Victor Toth, a former Feinstein Institute's neuroengineer. Apparently just kind of as a hack, uh, did this project, hooking up some rats to a virtual reality setup that cost 2,000 bucks and letting them shoot some imps in Doom 2. And apparently he's uh, just getting started, got some other ideas for other, other video games. Uh, so this is just really cool. You know, I always had a feeling about rats and I feel vindicated. <laughs> uh, so there you go. All right, well, let's wrap it up with a quote then. And I was uh, looking for quotes about evil since, you know, we're playing the Temple of Elemental Evil. And of course, there's a lot of great quotes about that. Uh, but I was really struck by this one. It's by the English writer C.H. Dawson, apparently a fairly well-known Catholic historian. Uh, anyway, his quote goes something like this. As soon as men decide that all means are permitted to fight an evil, then their good becomes indistinguishable from that evil they set out to destroy. So ponder on that and see you guys next time. the animal on his own terms. Find you are not so very strong.